Sup cunts? Hi, I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. I am the Magic the Gathering content creator equivalent of a discarded condom. I am rubbery, I'm perhaps useless now that you've used me, but you still want to look inside, you still want to have a good little slurp. Get that tasty treat out from deep inside that crevasse, that little, that little tasty morsel within the hole. This is the pre-stream bit, this is the new intro. I mean, actually, if you're watching this in six months' time after I've recorded it, it's probably not the new intro. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Here comes the sun, little darling. I'm not live right now. This is a pre-recorded intro, but I will be live shortly. Don't you fucking worry. So welcome to the Hot Boy Milky Gamer Zone. I am the Hot Boy Gamer. I am the most milkable man in esports entertainment. I am the premier beard of the format. If you don't believe me, well, I was endorsed by Louis Scott Vargas. What gives him authority over beards? I don't know, but it sounds good on paper. This is twitch.tv forward slash Pleasant Kenobi. This is where the magic happens, or at least the streaming of the magic. I do stream other things too. A little bit of Warhammer there, a little bit of painting here. A little bit of variety content. Sometimes I play League of Legends, just get incredibly stressed out. But mainly, it's magic. I'm live this time, 7 p.m. Well, I say this time. I might be playing this intro before a non Monday stream. But I'm live every Monday at 7 p.m. GMT or BST, as well as impromptu streams announced via my Twitter and my Instagram and my YouTube. So you should follow me on all those platforms too, why I'm called. Yep, not very original, Pleasant Kenobi. There are links to my Instagram and my Twitter and my YouTube down in the uh, like About Me section below this stream. Um, YouTube is where the real magic happens and says that I put up more content over there. I put up between three and seven videos a week, primarily magic. Again, a bit of variety content. Wednesdays tend to be Warhammer, but the majority is Magic the Gathering. If you are here for pro plays, if you are here to become an MPL level player, well, firstly, I don't even quite know what the MPL is, but secondly, this is not the place for you. I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna get distracted, I'm gonna talk about complete fucking nonsense, and I'm probably gonna get a bit salty. But in spite of the teaspoons, maybe heaped teaspoons of salt, I think that the environment and the community we've cultivated here is a relatively positive one, an inclusive one. That's right, I did say inclusive. If you're the kind of person that hears the word inclusive and you sort of recoil in pain, if you're the sort of person that asks others to keep politics out of their game, well, you can fuck off. This is not what you're going to enjoy. You're not going to like it here. This will be your own personal hell. That's right, I'm a little bit left-leaning and that's going to be really upsetting for some of you. I'm not even remotely sorry. So we're going to sling some spells, we're going to chat shit, we're going to chat about absolute fucking nonsense, but we're going to have a good time whilst doing it. So grab a brew, grab a titty of sody pop, grab a coffee, grab a pale ale, a fruit cider, a fruit no, shoot, oh. just grab a drink, kick up a stool. Lay back. You can even have a wank if you want. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not in a hot tub very often though, so it's not quite the same wank bank material as Twitch. I probably shouldn't go into that. If you want to support, you can subscribe by the button that is either above or below my head. I'm not even sure anymore with all the changes to Twitch and the fact that I have the attention span of a dead cat. The best way to support the channel is via Patreon. There are links below to the Patreon. And for $2 a month, you can get involved with the Discord. I'm regularly on there myself. There's a good community going on there. Apart from a couple of people that are cunts, you know who you are. But on the whole, the community is pretty damn good. Beyond that, subscribe to Pleasant Kenobi on YouTube. That's where most of the content goes up. And that's the best way to support me because it helps me get towards getting that silver plaque at 100k, which will make me feel like I've actually done something with my life for the last three years. And that's all of it, really. Um, so just kick back, relax, shoot some b-ball outside of a school. Couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I don't know why I went down that route. If you enjoy this, don't forget, Hit that subscribe button, just follow if you can. And can I get some capital letter hype? Because we're about to get going. We're about to get started. If you type capital letter hype in the chat, one, it tantalizes my balls. I actually have electrodes strapped to my testicles and the word hype makes me get ever closer to that cum. But secondly, it also helps me to see in the chat how close this video bit is to being over and to how soon I need to get on my fucking, get on with it and get live. Will this loop? Will this be one of those things where it starts over again at the beginning and then people like, you're looping Vince in chat? Well, we're going to find out shortly, aren't we? Because this is the end of it. I, f I, fi I finished talking. This is shorter than the old intro. If you've never seen the old intro, well, you're missing out. But you're here now and that's the main thing. 
just rambling now, just just filling out a bit more time, so that future me can, I don't know, finish taking a shit or whatever I'm doing, getting a little soda pop, getting a little discarded condom. You see, I'm, I'm referring back to things I've already said in this intro, because that's how humour works. If you reference things that you said in the past, what else did I say? MPL, pro, capital letter hype. Oh fuck, it's about to loop, isn't it? Fuck, it almost didn't loop. It almost didn't loop. Hello, everybody who is early. We're going to call you the early gang from now on. How are we all, chat? Let's do a little bit of a roll call. Let's see who's hanging about. Thank you for the follow, PC Guy 89 Welcome, welcome. Yep, yeah, it's Leo the numero uno. Well done, Staxi. You're not wrong. Uh, the ball did not come home. No, it did not come home. And then England decided to show its entire ass by being a bunch of racist cunts. So I was excited. Oh, there's a fly in my office, but it just flew past my face. You see that? I, I've been trying to get rid of it. I had a fan on a minute ago, and it was scaring it off, but it... No, what are you doing right now? Right. Okay. The heck out. So I've just had a dip dab. Thank you, Medichemist. Welcome back, my friend. We'll play our legacy game this week for the league. I've just had my dip dab. It's a lollipop and sherbet. I take it out of the packet so I can let you know, make my life a bit easier. I just put a, a, a YouTube story up for it. I bet someone's going to like report it for drugs or something and be like, Sherbet. I don't think that's how people actually, like, that doesn't do anything, right? Like, I know you see that in movies, people got the cocaine all the time, but they don't. Right, so, quick thing. I was excited about the football, put some bets on, was enjoying watching it, having a drink, getting into it. I realise that football is actually an incredibly dirty sport where you can do whatever the fuck you want. The rules don't matter. And everyone on Twitter is like, but Vince, you, you can you can actually strangle your opponent. Um, it's, 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 it's kind of within the rules. It's tactical. And I'm like, oh, so you like angle shooting. Cool. Good job, Magic Nerds. Um, so yeah, and then England got really fucking racist. Real fucking quick. I say got. That's not true, is it? We've always been a bunch of racist cunts. And by we, I mean the Sam country, not me. I am... Um, I guess I'm virtue signaling at this point, aren't I? I'm not like that, but fucking hell was I angry this morning. So fucking angry. Just to see it ongoing and ongoing. One stand-up comedian who was... Um, not even, like, slightly hiding the fact that he's a racist cunt. What was his name? He's had all his shows no, cancelled now. Right so now. he's been actually cancelled. You're not good fucking idiots. What's his fucking name? Just gonna make sure people are aware of this prick's name. Oh, Andrew Lawrence deleted the tweet. It was stuff like, oh, just saying, the white players scored. And you're like, fuck off, you piece of fucking shit. So yeah, I've been in a weird mood today of being very angry at everything. Um, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I've painted some Warhammer. We're gonna stream some modern. It's gonna be good shit. It's going to be good shit. Um, but yeah, I actually fucking was disappointed that we lost the football, but ultimately we didn't deserve it. Thank you, Sanctuary Bear. Sanctuary Nerd Bear, should I say. For the, uh, fuck, I fucked that way up. Sanctuary Nerd Bar. Yeah, it's not Nerd Bear. I'm going to move my light like this. I think I get a headache streaming. I don't enjoy streaming as much, but I got my light shot right in my face. I'm going to look a bit yellow there. So, my friends. Also, Sterling played better than a lot of the other players. In what world is he even logical to be that much of a dick? Yep. Yep. 100%. 100%. If you want to place um, blame on anyone, and all fairness, it is incredible, including like Southgate and shit to get as far as it did. But like, blame the strategy, right? Why? Why let it go the penalties? It's like moaning about not top decking the fifth land you needed when you kept a one land in your third game of Magic after making multiple mistakes before that. It's fucking dumb. Does I never realize people are a bunch of pricks? Oh no, J JK Dolborg, our country has a problem with, um, they hold people up as heroes if they're scoring, but then I just drop slurs. Just openly drop slurs on the internet of them if they're losing. Yeah. Been enjoying your content on the Red Brand. You're about YouTube, but I'm looking forward to your streams. Hello, Sanctuary No Bear. Bar, but how could you bear again? God, I'm a shit. Yeah, this country. We had an inquest recently. Um, I will stop talking about this in a moment. It's just been on my mind a lot today. We had an inquest in this country where our Prime Minister and the current establishment declared that there is no such thing as systemic racism 
in the UK. Are flies on my fucking light now? There's two flies now. What the fuck? <sighs> it's like, okay then. There's no systemic racism. Do you mean it's not just systemic racism? Do you mean like it's actually overt, explicit? People just like throwing slurs at young kids on the internet because they were able to get a ball into a fucking net? We were defending a one goal lead, and one goal is never a safe lead. Um, that's not necessarily true, is it, Holbin? Because, like, last game when he was doing that, he was um, bringing more defenders on and shit, right? This time around, we just didn't sub anyone on and one. Yeah. But I'm not going to talk about it, because I, I, I think, here's another thing as well, before we move on from this, is that from, from circulating in Magic and Warhammer circles a lot, and playing League of Legends, and being in nerd spheres in general, right? People don't really know what the fuck they're talking about in their spheres. I mean, one acts like they do. Well, I do, right? But the majority don't. And I think the same is to be said for pretty much every man that ever talks about football. Honestly, the amount of conflicting, nonsensical shit that I hear, and I'm just like, surely all these people can't be right because they're all saying complete fucking nonsense. I don't know. I just think we probably shouldn't talk about authorities and the shit. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should give up. Right! On that incredibly positive note, here we fucking go. Here we fucking go. We're playing... Venge vineless venge vine. Now I think we end up subbing four times, but yeah, two of them for the extra time. And they were at the end of extra time. It's fucking wild. No, you Italy don't. Italy were right playing now. real dirty, which is fine if that's part of the, the rules. Heck out of me. But England weren't playing the same game as them, right? They weren't pulling shirts, diving. There's a, there's a couple of dives, actually, to be fair. Um, rolling around, diving in front of people, like the fucking stuff. Yeah, different game, different game. And I'm there as a, like a not a football fan, be like, is this allowed? And they're like, well, technically. And I'm like, all oh, right, this is like, this is like pith and needle. Uh, call a judge over. Ask a name dot com front letter is old and name wins at teeth, isn't it? Skating people's heads. Hello, bread truck. No librarian dread today, my friend. Yeah. Sports sucks. Doesn't sports suck? Fucking Olympics can eat my shit. Death Watch are just uh, Marines for people who don't want to admit that they're Marines players. Play a real army. Like Thousand Sons, I don't know. Right. So, we're playing Venge Vineless Venge Vine. My head was off a little bit. Hello, Smashing One. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ding dong, recall out of walls. Wicked. So, what we've got here, chat, is originally we had loam and stuff in our initial put together of this with splices. Staxi was there. And I played a few games this morning with it and it sucked. So we removed loam because loam was going up our hand, as were these things. Like having Arctic Phoenix and Ham weren't great. So we just cut the loam, cut the Greenlands, brought in charcoal, so you have more ways of putting these in the bin. So to explain what our deck is doing, we're going to cast lots of spells, which either brings back an Arctic Phoenix from the bin or allows us to cast a demolition for free from hand or for free from graveyard by exploring four other instant sorceries in our graveyard. We do have one random deck more salvage to do a little bit of dredging. Um, probably shouldn't be playing that, honestly, but it's too late now. I can't possibly change the list. We just don't have the technology. So Demi is an interesting card because it's a 4-3. It costs one less blue. It costs four blue conventionally. One less blue for inst each instant sorcery you played. It's very easy to get to the point where you can just cast these for free, honestly. Someone on in, uh, Twitter was like, oh, it's a non-bow. I don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. How can it be a non-bow? We're not even referring it to. It can't be a not. Magic players, stop. So yeah, I think in, in modern it's relatively easy to get that. Is it good enough? Is putting a full a three four through that recasts a spell when it attacks good enough? Probably not. However, my innovation or what I'm hot to try and get to do is to use first day of class so that when our demolitions come into play, they have um, plus one plus one counters on them and they have haste. So we can hopefully, in an ideal situation, turn three or four is just pop off with like lava darts for free and gut shots for free. Manimal foes is a second spell that's kind of for free. Into a first day of class, cast Demolich, Demolich out of the bin, get a Phoenix back, five, five, and four, and then we're like either killing them or getting them very close to. 
Now, the deck obviously relies on the graveyard with Demi Lich and Arc Light Phoenix. Uh, we have no Lens and Cyborg, though. This is purely for the haste, plus one, plus one, counter enabler, and to draw discard. Um, it is possible to find Ragavans on MTGO because uh, I haven't put the things into my chat yet because I was going to see how I get on with them. I was with Mana Traders, and Mana Traders were garbage for the longest time. Uh, I used to want to kind of get sponsored with them and stuff and promote them, but then I ended up not really promoting them on stream, not having a message in my chat and stuff like that. Even, and they wouldn't give me anything for free either. Um, I was paying for it, and it was just shit. It was just shit. So I've moved away from them. I'm with Card Hoarder now. Uh, full disclosure, Card Hoarder have given me a rental account, so I'm not paying for it if I was with Mana Traders. I did talk Mana Traders a little bit, and we did we had a bit of back and forth about being a sponsored thing, but I kind of really became cold to it with how bad the service was a lot of the time. After Modern Horizons 2, and to be fair to Mana Traders, to be completely fair to them, it's not their fault that the packs are incredibly expensive, no one opens real packs in a way from seal, um, Phantom Drafts, and it wasn't redeemable either. There's a lot of problems with how Modern Horizons 2 was released, so it's not all Mana Traders' fault, to be fair. Um, but I've moved the card holder, and I've been able to get whatever card I need um, over the last week or so I've been with them. Um, so I'll be promoting them now. Um, they get, Like I said, they're giving the account for free with a higher rental limit than normal because they want to, basically, their words were, support content creators. Which is pretty fucking banging. Uh, I'm going to promote them in my chat and stuff like that. Uh, with like messages and mention them on stream and stuff. If the service continues to be good. Which it is. It really is. Hello, Transverse Hex. Hello, hello, hello. Poor Protex Engine, to say the least. Yep, yeah, so let's get back to the deck tech. Shut up and show me your 40k army. I'll show you what I've been painting on Instagram in a minute. So, I think it's primarily concerned with the graveyard effects of Demi Lich and Arco Phoenix, right? So, my thought is, there's probably going to be ley lines of the void in the format. People are going to have graveyard hate, rest in pieces, surgical, stuff like that. So, I thought, let's have a mystical dispute to fuck with combo decks. Lost a game earlier, because I, um, I, for some reason, just thought it was always one mana. It's not, I know it's not. So, I, um, passed my opponent who I knew was going to add nausea in me on the following turn of Thassa's Oracle. Um. Oh, no, that was it. Yeah. I kept it up with the intention of countering Thassa's Oracle to get them for one mana. Um, no, that wasn't it. Oh no, I fucked it. I could have countered the Thassa's Oracle. Fuck. Okay, I lost the game earlier because I didn't keep up three mana. I just realised, no, I couldn't counter the Spores of the Vault, but I could have countered the Thassa's Oracle prior to the Spores of the Vault. Was the Spores of the Vault... Was the Thassa's Oracle already in play? No, the trigger was in the stack. Yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Lost the game earlier that I shouldn't have lost. Anyway, I assume people are going to have, like, you know, this is for combo. And people are going to have great, and this is for other great red decks. And then this is our transformation of Cyborg just to become Storm. That's it. It's not really good enough. We don't actually have, actually, I wonder if we should just have four copies of Enter the Warriors. Um, because Grape Shot isn't that good unless you have um, Past and Flames. Do I have any Past and Flames? But that's not very good in the graveyard plan that I just talked about, is it? No, okay. That might be a very bad transformation of Cyborg, but let's find out. Yeah, dispute is one mana when it hits opposing blue spells. So you can hit Thassa's Oracle with it. I had punted earlier by not hitting the Thassa's Oracle with it. Then with the trick on the set they cast Spore the Vaults. Because I was like, oh, they don't want to cast Nauseam. This is a block. Yeah, I just fucked it. And I really sure I fucked it more than I thought I'd fucked it. Just since I'm, a bit, I'm a bit feeling very tired after um, chowing down on that dib dab. Oh, well, I'll come back to me soon, hopefully. But I ship my play points into a thing earlier. Lost every game. 41 tickets. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. How expensive is the deck? Good question. So, if you X Clan deck, you can have a look at the deck a bit more of your own leisure. But, or leisure. I don't know why I said leisure. That's, a, that's an Americanism, isn't it? Deck is 343 tickets online, 770 tickets in paper. And the paper price comes. Uh, it's $120 for four Demi Lich right now. Uh, Fari Islet is getting a little bit expensive. Mr. Reinforcers, Golden Tarn. So all the money in the deck is in Steam Vents. Misty. So actually, you could probably fuck around with this graveyard. Uh, this, this graveyard, this land base. Like you don't need these fetches now. I'm not playing loan. So you can actually cut down on fetches to really bring the price down. And then Demi Lich isn't too expensive. So it's a relatively cheap deck. Demi Lich being the most expensive color is in the fetch land. Yeah, you do need an initial investment to play any modern, or to have the cards from um, playing a load of Magic previously. Oh, 
Oh, fuck, you're right, Staxi. Yeah, like, only content creators. Thank you, Bobby O, for the giving some only content creators we have cards right now. So, yeah, you're right. That, that, that literally will come down. Very good point. Yeah, so explosive integration is seeing play in modern legacy, so that's why it's climbing a little bit. I'm surprised it's climbed so much, though, being an uncommon occurrence standard set. But I think it's because, like, no one's opening this trick save anymore, right? Because trick save is old news. Yeah, the pre release party is this weekend, so if you, uh, I might stream it actually. Yeah, I'll probably stream my paper games. I'll be hanging out on stream in the Discord playing paper, um, uh, D and D adventures from the Forgotten Realms. I'll probably open that uh, sealed pool on camera on my on my channel this week as well. Hey Vince, hope you're having a good day so far. How do you feel about the quality of booster boxes of AFR? The quality? I don't know. How the fuck do I know about that yet? Thank you for the bids, then, Meet the Vince. How do I know yet? I haven't opened one yet. Hopefully, I have some stuff from Wizards coming for the post box tomorrow. I'm checking it tomorrow. Yeah, but Fatal Push was. Ubiquitous across every format, including standard, right? Where fire iteration, I don't know if I've seen any standard play, but it's not it's not to fatal push levels. But also, yeah, um on the flip side, fatal push was in the set I was getting opened a lot because of expedition style cards. Uh Strix Haven was for Mythical Archives, but I guess no one's opening it now because it's old fucking news. I wish these were actual faithless living. I feel like there's much to ask. Um if we draw another land, we're hot. I should not have kept this for the record. Watch me mill two lands. Oh, we did and we hit a land. We're good. Could do with another like one mana spell or mana morphos. Okay. Let's grab mountain and cast faithless salvaging. Discard our Phoenix, find another theft of salvaging, not quite where we want to be. So damage now costs three blue. Should have an island with this actually. I just realised I'm going mountains for the lava dial, but we need to be able to cast this. That was incorrect. So if we discard this next turn and hit a one drop spell on our draw step off of our other salvaging, we'll actually be in a better spot. They're controllers, they're gonna have counter spells and stuff now, so yeah. Hmm. I want to fetch now to thin the deck out. Hello, Rob. Rob, do you want on the stream today? I wasn't sure you were joining me, my friend. I don't think we care about banning looting. Looting's always responsible for so much shit. I'm going to keep Demolich in hand. I want to cast it from hand. Okay. That's three spells next turn. Let's give Rob a quick call. Stone Age Dude, man, I definitely appreciate you appreciating Rob, but also don't make me feel bad about being so, though. Fucking hell. So next turn we are going to cast three spells, including first day of class. Which means that we'll be able to cast Demolich for one blue mana. And we'll get both our other Phoenixes back, which won't be terrible. Thanks, I'm taking my shirt off. Uh, we didn't deserve to win, though. Both from our play and just our attitude. Rob, are you there, my friend? Can you hear me? Hello, Rob. How do I sound? Uh, you sound slightly echoey. Ah, uh, that's uh, 
I'm trying out my new microphone, so um, if it sounds terrible, I should go back to the old ways and use my headset. So it sounds like it's a better quality, but it sounds like you might need some sound insulation or something in the corners of your room or in he- ahead of you to stop the reverb. Because you're getting like um, echo, echo, echo elation. I don't know what the term is. As a technical term for it, we're bouncing off walls and shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, my office is pretty empty. Are you are uh, switching back to your old mic for the time being, then, or what? What, what, what do you want to do? If you would, yeah. If it sounds better to go back to the other way, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, I think it will. Okay, no problem. Oh. It's your stream after all. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let's do this oh. and. Is that better? That is better for the time being. Yeah, I think once you get some um, uh, some padding. I have to do it for this room as well. I've still got a bit of echo to mind, but I kind of like it. But initially when I moved into this office, it was very echoey. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a real good time here. We might actually just randomly kill our opponent here. Which is nice. Absolutely. So, so we are playing, is it Phoenix with Demi Liches? Is that the thing we're doing? It's actually, it, I prefer the term Vengevineless Vengevine. Vengevineless Vengevine. Okay, yeah, that makes that makes a lot more sense, actually. Be... Oh, my God. Uh, keep going. Let's go. Can we can we hit another Demi Lich? That would be so gas. Oh, it's almost a Demi Lich. Right, let's go first day of class. Discarding the Lava Dart. We didn't draw another Lich, which is a shame. There's one in the graveyard, though. Can we do something with that? There is one in the graveyard. We're going to cast all the Demi... So we're going to cast this now. Because we want to try and hit another Demi Lich to hand if we can. Because these are free now. Yeah, these are free. So we're going to go red, red. Discard this. That's a shame. Cast this. It gets a counter on haste. Cast this. Ditching... Salvaging, salvaging. First days. And... And we'll get the metamorphoses, don't we, if we can use them. Yeah, well, yeah, but I think having access to one haste enabler is good too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. So, draw spell, draw spell, draw spell, draw spell. Uh, yeah, let's, let's have utility. And then we go to combat, get two phoenixes, which are four. That's 18 damage, chat. Ding a ding ding. See? People on Twitter are like, it's, it's a non-bow. I'm like, a non-bow with what? <laughs> Casting spells? Exactly. I don't know. It seems all right. It seems, uh, I don't think this deck is like insanely good, but that's still pretty strong. Absolutely. It's um, just it's a, there's the thing that it uses a resource that everybody uses playing magic, right? So therefore, it's got to be good. Like, <laughs> Our opponent is um, on blue-white control, so we're going to see like rips and stuff post, post-board. So do we just... Let's just become Storm. Let's just go... Love it. Um, Transformational sideboard. We'll keep the liches because we can storm off and still cast them. Uh, we'll cut like lava darts. They seem pretty. They're not weird. There's better, nothing. Better. There's nothing to They're shoot. The... Gut shot, maybe. Yeah, but they they are like um both them and gut shot are free spells. Fair point. Maybe the maybe the chart courses since we're cutting the phoenixes. Yeah, damage isn't so bad in hand. That is actually raw card advantage, and we do struggle to storm. So maybe salvaging is bad. That's also a free spell. Yeah, that's what I was... Yeah. First day of class allows our warrens to actually kill them. Iteration is also raw card advantage. It's got to be these burn spells. Let's cut, like... We need to cut five cuts. Let's cut two darts. Why not two darts and two channelers? Because uh, ch- oh, channelers oh, can no. completely fold to... Um, uh, no. Well, well it might be that they... um Yeah. No, 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 not necessarily. Well, actually, no, I see what you mean, actually, yeah, because if it's to go to delirium. But it's still a 1-1 one, one for 1. It's still a raging goblin without haste. It, it does surveil, too. It does allow... I think we still want... I think, I think we again. still want bodies over these, yeah. Okay. Watch them play no graveyard hate. We, we want to bring in... Lose. Oh, I was going to say the, the count spells, maybe. Or maybe for game 3. Maybe, maybe. Um, oh. um, no. Tan doesn't seem to do anything. No, it doesn't. So we play this attack for one char course. No. Oh, the old one lander. Tempting. Dangerously tempting. No, I agree. It's actually like, yeah, I wanted to play with it. And then when I played with it, we saw what loan was bad, right? Um, 
I'm tempted, but... Give me land to run. Uh, I want 20 or 19. And we've got four Tome Scours or whatever it is, don't we? Thought Scours. 20. Yeah, Thought Scour and Channel are also not bad draws. I still need to do bad, really wants to keep it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, fuck. Get behind me, Satan. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's, just, let's bottom the Lava Dot. Yeah. Lava Dot's at least the worst spell in his hand, right? Thank you for the sub. Oh, the resub. Oh, geez, it's Brad. Is, are people not getting sub notifications? I haven't heard them. Is there something going on with my alert box? Has anyone seen any sub notifications throughout the stream at all? Uh, I didn't see mine. No sounds. We can hear you. We've got audio. So is it just Twitch being weird? Aren't you happy I sent you that list in the one? Yeah, Stax, so you're right. Yeah, let's just. Yeah, it's all the credit is you. It wasn't me playing the deck this morning. It was all you. Um, properties. Oh, something's broken with Twitch and or. Right, we're on a hype train, chat. I just can't tell you that. I'll have a fiddle with it after the game, chat. I'll have a fiddle with it after the game. Um, yeah, exactly. So it's, it's not OBS and sounds, man, the Albatross. It's something to do with uh, Twitch notifications coming through to what's called the alert box, which is like a, a widget. That's not even my term. That's the term they use for OBS. Um, also, so yeah, thank you, people, for subbing. Thank you for we're on the level 2 hype train. If you want to... Oh, it's that cool card that when you flash it back, you draw into cards, don't you? If you like this, the, the stuff I do, you can sub, you can come part of the Patreon. Hell, you can just share my videos with your friends, because that helps too. Yes, I started playing this with Lone Rob, and it was not good. <laughs> it doesn't sound well, good. But what happened was, like, Lone was fine when the game was slow, and by fine I mean, like... Is that whether there's a attack more sandwich in your deck? Yeah, but I kept that in as a ode to history. <laughs> um, but the problem we had was that I lost two different games with like three Arclight Phoenix in hand. So I was like, no, we need more ways to discard them. Mm -hmm. I have got every notification. Wait. No, you can see them in chat, right? But we're not getting them on the screen. The alert box should be... I might just re-add it after this game. Um, do we just play the Electromancer? Uh, yes. Yeah. See, we're getting subs and they're coming up in chat. We're just not getting them elsewhere. Mm. Because it's make next turn pretty strong. Yeah, it does. Also, we can swing we... and not have to loot yeah. if, they, if they land a... Yeah, draw card draw. Yeah, exactly. Especially if we hit, like, a mana Ooh. Okay. Bear that in mind for your faithless salvaging. Yeah, let's just let's get stuck in the exile zone. Thank you, Molden Alpaca, for the sub, my friend. Um, Salvage? No, a charcoal. Yeah. The second Electromancer doesn't do anything, does it? So, yeah. Admiral Blasters, I don't know if you saw, we, we've transformed into we're post board with Storm. <laughs> <laughs> On the anticipation oh, that they're going to play Graveyard Hate. That's the Sandra Nerd Bar for the gifted sub as well. Thank you. Thank you for gifting us even though I fucked your name up earlier. I appreciate that. It's going to be a supreme vote just to kill the electrons. No, it was. Oh, Dear. shit. That is a thing. So we want to just raw draw um, uh, Grape Shot. I think. So we can go to Desperate Ritual Grape Shot, kill some Planeswalkers. Alst. Okay. Uh. Oh, if only I had haste. <laughs> Do we just play Demi Lich? Yeah, yeah. God, Narset is such a fucking ridiculous magic card. Why does it exist? Demi Lich Go seems. This is the this is the flaw, right, of Demi Lich. Well, when we attack next turn, we get to cast Charter Course and draw no cards. That's good. Mm, lovely. <laughs> oh, okay, we have to bring our Lava Dots and Gut Shots back in for this shit, don't we? Mm -hmm. So they haven't seen Lava Dot or Gut Shot yet, so they're not aware that's what we're doing. Doc Fry as well with the sub. What a level two. Hype train. We get to kill one of their walkers here, though, don't we? 
I would I would go for the Narset. Like the the oh, Ashiok definitely. does literally nothing. Oh no, they've seen the they've seen the lava. Well, it turns off fetches off. We've had fetched three times. It's unlikely we're going to draw and or need to fetch again. They have a removal spell though. Uh, okay. Uh, and we don't get to look for a car. No, we do because it's their effect. Oh, okay. Okay. We can do this and then chart a course and do some serious surveilling. When we ain't charting a course. Not even we'll just, to to just throw it in there. No, because we'll have to discard it. We have to cast. That's just two miles to discard two cards. Because yeah. we won't get to draw anything. There's a time when I really like um, Happy Tone here, but then <laughs> you t you mocking my tone. Oh, 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 thanks. To the I don't know what you're saying there, Doc Fry. I don't know if you're mocking my uh, apathetic tone or not. Um, I used, there's a time when I liked Control. Um, and uh, this is not. I like, I, do like... I like Big Teferi and Big Gideon. That's my kind of control. I think. Tap out. Omen. Wall of Omens type control deck. Emiria. That kind of stuff. That's, the, that's my kind of control. Yeah. Emiria's cool. What was your mother's brother's asking how you are, Robert? I didn't. Oh. Hello, Robert's your mother's brother. I am well, thank you. Uh, how are you? Um, what is this? Doing at the uh, Narset, I guess. Yeah. Prison Kenobi, if you were part of the hype train, which part would you be? I would be the big fucking horn. <laughs> Didn't even trade in. Interesting. What on earth do they gain from that? Just keep a snappy on board, I guess, to block for one of these ones. It's if over the very high, right? That was good. Oh, baby. That's two in there. So can we go... So we go desperate. Desperate ritual. Surveil. Bell Pierce. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Keep the man more fits though. Oh. I, mean, I was just checking if it was the spells they've cast as well, but it's not. Um, put that on top, yeah, sure. These are 3 threes now, though. And they fly. They are. How do you see these little chaps in uh, the Legacy? Fucking annoying. <laughs> That's uh, it's the other four yeah. Delvers, Thanks. aren't they? Stone Age Dude Man and all right, Almighty, I believe, as well. Stone Age Dude Man giving out subs to Wandering Omen and Catfish. Okay, thank you for the subs, even if we can't hear them. God fucking damn it, Twitch and or OBS. So we want to draw another Desperate Ritual. What way been coming? Yeah, they've got to have a Wrath now, right? Oh, they kept the snappy around to put it back to Hammer to Fairy. Oh. That's a pain in the ass. And they're going to path one of these. Or oust. They did oust. Okay, what do we draw? Okay. That's a thing. We go salvaging into first day. Then draw, right? Learn is discard, then draw, yeah. So. We've got a million cards in hand as well. Mm -hmm. And a graveyard full of snappy targets, including a uh, spell pierce. So let's not, uh, not run into that by accident. Oh, 
Although getting in with the grape shot would be really fun. Just shit here, isn't it? It is, it's so bad. And now they're like, what? Ooh, that's good. Have you played the Lamp We haven't we? Yes. Well, you have to cast all the chain. So we just grape shot, kill the snappy, shoot the Teferi, shoot the Asher, attack the Asher, and have a spell to stop us, I guess. Yeah. I would or say, we just cast the lich for, or we can cast a lich for two. We can. I I think we go grape shot and then just aim at all the planeswalkers and then see what they want to do. Mm, that wasn't terrible. I would shoot Ashiok with the original. To just yeah, let's do that. Wandering. I'm still going to shoot the snappy dead because it means we can continue to attack and stuff, doesn't it? You sure. But we'll kill the Ashok for certain. Oh no, if we kill the Teferi, we get to cast our, our learning spell next turn. So yeah, one Teferi, one oh, Snappy. I spread out. If they have any sort of removal spell for our for our uh, creature, I don't think we win, so in this, this turn we don't. Three spells cast. I'm gonna get on top of my library because I don't want the other. If the Ashok survives here, then at least we draw it. Oh no, we don't. No, we don't. Because it works as well as Exilus, yeah. Mm. It doesn't matter whether it's on top or, or bottom. And they have that. Okay. Cool. Well, it shuffles that Demolich away. They had another one. It in okay, we only have 18. They have another one, don't they? Yeah, we only have 18 cards on the library. I was thinking we should get a game three. What a miserable game of magic! Yeah, playing talk. You know, sometimes even when you lose a game of magic, oh, that's a really interesting game of magic. Like, that wasn't interesting. Nope, that's fucking shit. Yep, um, we need the mystical disputes, yeah, you're right, and we need lava darts over something. So maybe we just don't even want the channelers, they don't do enough. Hmm. I think our transformation of cyborg is just bad. Hey. Maybe we should just cyborg into, I don't know, control. Just like Keranos or something. Do you imagine trying to cast a Keranos in contemporary modern? It sounds absurd, doesn't it? But it is. It used to be for ages. It was like that was like one of the go-to sideboard cards for this. Kind yeah, it's a sideboard card for Twin against Jund for the most part, because Jund used to dominate Twin because it had a pop decay and all this removal. So you just sideboard into something they can't deal with, but nowadays they can because Black has artifact destruction. There's probably some sort destruction. of destruction. Yeah, there's a there's an edict for uh, enchantments, isn't there? Mm -hmm. And just a straight up destroy target enchantment spell. Yeah, but um. That wouldn't matter for Karanos. Oh, yeah, because it's indestructible. Yeah, my bad. Um, this is okay. Because we have spells and lands. Let's go steal yeah. to shock ourselves. Let's go thought scare ourselves. Let's go to our start. Okay. Okay. We storming. We storming. Just got to empty the warrens a bunch, you know. It's not that hard. Exactly. Draw. Mm -hmm. We should definitely fire that off now because yeah, they might drop to fairy. No, it's like, what, you want to for salvaging? Yeah, because at least we're going to get the rebound that we tend to. Yeah, oh, they just got Yeah, I shouldn't have played a land because we get a land off this. Um, playing this just incentivizes them to cast a fairy. So let's find out if they have to fairy, I guess. Uh, let's discard a land. Draw a Metromancer. Okay. Cool. 
so fucking miserable. Okay. Okay. We do get to make a lot of goblins next turn. We do. No, we don't. They bounce. They bounce the electromancer. I think we just have to have a game where we like turn three or four, just make a shitload of stuff and kill them. We can't fuck. I think all this stuff is just making our deck worse. Against particularly this deck. Yeah, that makes sense. Because now we're under this, and then they have counter magic, then plus another walker, and so on and so on. Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, I think we just have to like be really aggressive. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Okay. It's not a kill spell yet. <laughs> There it is. There we go. Cool. It's a free spell. Yeah. I guess it is. <laughs> They have seven cards in hand. It's like insurmountable. Maybe I was meant to just go ritual into empty the ones there for like six one ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it probably was. Okay, we can make quite a few goblins here. We can. We can make ritual. Two, four, six, eight. Lava dart, lava dart. Yeah, it's eight goblins, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of want to wait. Maybe try one more turn. And like a special iteration doesn't draw the card, so we can cast it through the Teferi. Shouldn't put the land, should I? What into our hand? Yeah. Extra this one. Okay. One on the bottom, this one. XR one, this one. Just, just keep casting them, innit? Just. Mm hmm. about it. It's a fairy. Oh, they've got the Narset. Oh no, the Garrow each Sanatorium doesn't combo with our set, does it? Oh, excuse me! Fucking snappy owl stuff of Teferi. Fucking hell. Why don't they just pretend War of the Spark never happened? Would anyone actually care? Would anyone be upset? I mean, I don't think so. I mean, we've got... We've got new White Planeswalkers now, so the lack of Gideon isn't really an issue. Okay. Let's see what we can <sighs> do. Well... Do you mana more phase and respond? It's one mana, it nets us two, doesn't draw us a card. And then we can Ritual, it doesn't do anything. We draw a lich, that'd be lovely. No, we did not. Okay, so Manor Morphos is free. They're gonna have a counter spell anyway, right? So we can't play around that. 
who's just going to cast Manamorphose for free. We don't draw a card off it. It's just literally like add to our stolen count one. Yep, and go um, ritual. Ritual, empty the warrens. Go ritual, lava, well, lava dart. Ritual, lava dart, lava dart, empty the warrens. Yeah, make sure you float the mana before you sacrifice your other mana. So they can't have this now. Let me just scoop it up. Yeah, cool. That was really, uh, really rough and really boring. Yep. Cool. Good old contemporary magic design. <laughs> I wonder if they sit in boardrooms and they're like, guys, we really fucked up. And we cannot continue to fuck up like this. Um, to answer your question, Vobis Cannon, no, I do not sign cards that people send me and ask to be sent back because um, it's just a load of extra work and I just don't want to do it. And that's just the, honest, that's the most honest answer. It's just, yeah. This fat toke is for you, PK. Good, good X420 PM. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Got that. I don't know if it was the dib dab before the stream or that fucking round of magic, but one of them has sucked the life out of me. It's going to be the dib dab. Uh, I don't know. Sugar crash. Thoughts on new orcs? Fuck yes. I'm going to pre-order the snake bite box. I've already said to my store as well, because it's nowhere near being pre-ordered, but I want the new kill team box. Uh, all the new models look fucking awesome. Um, so I'm trying to get through my backlog a little bit, but today is when my only day I get to paint. I've got other stuff I've got to do. Like actual make content tomorrow on Wednesday. It's just sadness. Yeah. New orcs, Rob. New orcs. Mm. What do they do? They ride squigs. It's a squig. It's like a giant bipedal angry cow pig thing. Okay. I'll show you, Rob. After this game. Okay. Right then. Fresh start, new beginnings, all that. We could do a drawing at least one way to discard cards. Yes. Is that a chimney imp? No, it's basically ca it's carrying imp. Keep. Okay. Here we go. Boggles. Anything Elves. bad control. Abundant harvest. Finding primal tone. This oh. can be some sort of Titan deck. What is it? What a surprise! Right, Chandler. Mm -hmm. Well, we did good in that thought, Scarra. We uh, could just go, go, go. There's a saga. A card that turns up literally everywhere. Ah, yeah. oh, but this finds amulet. That makes sense. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a quite a good magic card. Um, yes, we'll go red, red, draw that, cast this into graveyard. Discard this. Find a third land. Go slap. So far, so very unrampy. Hmm. From them. Oh, Azusa. I, I spoke very soon, but they did not hit another land drop, so they have another land in hand. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can do something big this turn. Hmm. Let's go thought scare ourselves. Sort of a eel. Um, we've already got a land in the bin. I think we want... And we don't... We, we've got a land for turn, haven't we? Yeah, true. So we want like another one mana sparrow, ideally. Okay, that's not it. Crack this. We want to draw a lava dart or a grape. Sh oh, a gut shot. 
ideally. Thought scare ourselves, surveil into graveyard. Didn't hit a single creature. We did hit lava dart though, which is nice, but it's not quite where we need to be. We do get one phoenix back for doing it though. Which feels good. Yeah, if this was an island, yep. we can cast this as well. Oh well. Involves losing a mountain, doesn't it? Yeah, but good enough. we've got four lands. Yeah, I think so. We need to put pressure on. They're already up to four lands. Like, they could be prime timing very soon. Yeah, but do we not want to go for it next turn if we discard this outright phoenix to this first day of class? Have we already cast three spells? We're getting the phoenix back anyway. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Yeah. So we're not going to cast up this turn. Wait, what? Didn't we? Someone kind of says two... I thought, oh, I thought we mana for that's the first turn. That was so long ago, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> well, they haven't got a land, so hopefully they just don't draw a land. Uh, then they can't cast a Garen Brick. Oh, they have, they did have a land. They just kept it in hand because of the type, the vigor. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. If you want to learn Warhammer, can you start with orcs? Yeah, of course you can. You start with any army. Orcs, the only problem is that you, there's a lot of models to build and paint. So if you're finding that, if you're thinking that part might be daunting, don't go with a horde army like orcs. Summoner's pack, but you already had one in hand, didn't you? From the oh, they got to listen and grow so that we just die. That's that's good. That's strong actually. Mm -hmm. Cast a Titan, get some lands, the ETB untapped, and are also mountains. Now we're going to die. Yeah. Okay, it's not enough Thalicates to kill us. But they don't have the mana to activate and go to haste. Yeah, we'll just go game two. They can activate Slayer's Stronghold because they've got white mana thanks to Dryadalus and Groves, and they get to attack and they get to start Valley Cutting us, and then we don't get to go anywhere. Yep. Um, we were very close to doing something, it just didn't actually work out. Indeed. Um, we have no real answers to this deck. So you have to be faster than them. Yep. Which I think we can do. Yep, I think so. You saw us kill, we killed the other person in turn four. We got the power. How do I feel about the idea of Warhammer EDH decks? Well, Almighty Blade, if you watch my videos, you'd know. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm excited for them. I've said many a video. I must have said like five, six occasions. I'm on stream. I'm excited for this stuff. That's what I always find interesting about being a content creator. People are like, oh, yeah, I watch you on YouTube. It turns out, just for the very nature of being a human being with a limited time, people don't see everything you put out, obviously. Um, Everyone's a slave to your content like I am. Oh, they should week. be. Yeah, they should be. <laughs> Come on, this has got to be good. Right, fuck this mountain. That mountain's let us down twice now. Hup, feel the pain! Feel the pain! Ah, uh, hey Baron, we're um, currently 0-1. Uh, we did uh, turn 4 kill our opponent in the first game of the league. Then they just fucking played all the water spot walkers. We couldn't do anything, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, we're now against Amulet, which isn't the most interactive deck of, in all fairness. So if they just don't do a whole lot. It'd be alright. Oh, that's a thing that does things. That is a thing that does stuff. No, I Misty Rainforest. How dare you. Uh, people Abbeca, Abbeca fundamentally fucking broken. And I was like, also, oh, wait, GW will fix it. And then they released another book with more admec rules and it made it worse. And you're like, that's that's not what anyone wanted. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's pretty frustrating, honestly. Um, that's not what I want to do. I want to expand this. No, do I want to do that? Okay, yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Relic is... Ah... <sighs> Doesn't shut us down, but it's not great. Mm. So maybe we just want to go for raw card advantage? Yeah. 
probably think so. Hmm. Two spells, three mana. Uh, let's let's get that in hand because that that was how he killed him last time. Yep. That's how we get that still <coughs> online. Manual foe is actually really gas here. It's been discarded Phoenix to the first air class, but obviously they can pop the relic if they have mana up. They have mana up. Well, that's what I'm doing. Phoenix. Hmm. Maybe we can get them to pop it because of the delirium. Yeah. Maybe we force them to pop it now and maybe we'll draw enough gas later. I'm not I'm unsure if that's the really realistic, honestly. See so if we can hit a Phoenix now. Uh, raw card draw is nice. We did not. We hit instant sorcery. Yeah, so we need to down a creature in the bin. We do have another fire dragon raid channeler though. Hmm. I am hydrating Mayor Chemist. I'm drinking water. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I put it on my live and we milled it, Derp. What a fucking idiot. That's not what I wanted to do. No. Let's try and survey our body into the bin and force them to crack their own relic. Um, bottom of my graveyard and then graveyard. Mm. So we didn't delirium, which is actually relatively hard to do in our deck. To be fair, we're here for the surveil to put the phoenixes and the and the liches into the bin. Second amulet. Make oh a ton of mana. Is this it? Is this the end again? <clears throat> yeah, turn three. Why not? Ooh. Wonder how how long till Primary Return actually ends up getting banned from Modern? Whether it's less than a year at this point, or if it's got a couple of years still in it. Um, not to say. I mean, what would you judge it against? I guess. Well, it's always been an archetype enabler. Uh, or the, it's just the archetype, right? It's yeah. just the archetype. I say always. That's not true. It used to kind of be a thing in Scape Shift. Um, but yeah, when Amulet was sort of understood and became a thing and took over from Scapeshift a lot as well, no bands did that. That was just people. That's an interesting thing, right? This is a, a card from Zendikar, and these are from Ravnica, and this was from M10, M11, I think, was the first one. Same. Um, yeah. I think so. M11, M12. But like, this deck didn't become a thing until just people start. I don't think there was a card printed that made it really, really good. Yeah, it was like, it's like the Death Shadow really thing where it just sort of naturally yeah. boiled up out of the firmament. A banning, a banning amulet also makes the deck not a thing at all, I don't think. Like, I'm not saying it needs to be banned, I'm just saying like as we sit here and die on turn 3, it does suggest that quite regularly this could be a thing, and this is a thing that this deck can do like semi-regularly. Yeah, I mean, this is the question is, right, okay, so there's like, there are weaker prime times, there are no other amulet figures. So the question would be like, if you want to keep the archetype, you don't ban the amulet, right? Well, well, there is no brick of prime time. There's, there's no creature that does what prime time does. Wait, what's the closest? Go loss? Um, Overworld like, Hydra. Warlock. That finds land, I think. Yeah, so you've got Overworld Hydra at six, which finds lands, or Goldos that finds land. It's not even the same ballpark, is it? No. But yeah, but I know what you mean. Amulet is more unique than that because there's just nothing that does what Amulet does. Yeah. I'm not saying it needs a ban, by the way, before anyone starts like campaigning for the shit because everyone's so ban happy. I'm just wondering, you know, things get banned over time as they continue to be problems in the format or continue to enable decks that are too fast in the format. And we've seen that with like looting and Opal where they have a long, long lifetime in the format and eventually get banned out. Mm. 
So I feel like Titan is definitely in that category of magic card. Yeah, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. How what we might see is we might see it's something like a Titan ban or similar. And then again, we don't know. Like, if we don't have any modern events, then none of this shit's going to happen because no one fucking cares and no one's really paying that much attention because <laughs> of the state of current magic. But, um, like, if we started having events open up again, we started having events, um, we might have that situation where Titan gets a ban or something else gets a ban similar to Titan before we see Saga get a ban, for example. Um, I think Dryad is more the issue. Dryad enables the Valakut lines, but I don't know if that makes it the issue. Yeah, because um, it's, it's a question of consistency, and Dryad does not improve consistency. Whereas Fine Time does, because it finds the key pieces, right? Yeah. One is a tutor, and one is a mana fixer. Oops. Merfolk. Ooh, hello. This guy's shots are going to be hot. Okay, just looking for a second land, which we can kind of dig for with gut shots of our Dragon Rage Chandler. So I'm happy if they go like Silver Gill Adept or whatever we get to kill it and it's available one. They reveal a Silver Gill Adept to play a Silver Gill Adept? Yeah, good chalice. Whoa. Get those gut shots out now. <laughs> Is this a thing now? Does Murphy just randomly play chalice? Is it good in the current metagame? What the fuck is this? Like, what is it good against? I guess just Blitz from Urza's Kitchen and this thing. Actually, no, that seems very good right now. Maybe I should play a Chalice deck. Okay, so we're not going to cast these then, so that's fine. We're going to just zap them, surveil. Throwing any... Oh, God, I see yeah. any non-land, but now I'm like... Uh, graveyard. Any non-land non in the graveyard. There are, roughly speaking, I think, twice as many lands as there are one-drop spells left in our deck, but I have a feeling we're going to draw one of the one-drop spells. Just got a feeling, you know? That would suck. That would suck hugely. Oh, I'm so fucking good at this game. <laughs> if we ditch this into the bin, we get this online. I think I'd rather go this plus this to just raw draw cards. Yeah, I think that's what we want to be doing. Like, two damage is two damage, but... Yeah, we just need to set up, get our birds down and just run them over. Yeah, Fire of this Manimal might be a bad idea here, because we usually get this bird. I think we put that on top and draw it for next turn. Mm -hmm. And then make a blue and a red. And then we cast Charcoals. And we cannot cast into the Chalice, but it is a free spell on the back end. So next turn we can go cast it and and a two drop and then recast it and still not cast them but it's, uh, do I want to yeah mm, I want to top this as an enabler even though it doesn't do like mechanically anything to our opponent because mm -hmm. it's just two spells for one mana right yeah yeah that makes sense we actually don't have a mountain right now but we will next turn okay fingers crossed They revealed the spreading seas. 2-2 two, two from Modern Horizons 2. Okay, cool. 
So I think we first day of class first. Yeah. Discarding. Um, one of these lands probably, probably the mountain. Sense. So give us a demi lich next turn, and a. F Nope, because we want to get the arc light out now, don't we? And then we're going to learn by discarding the mountain. Find another mountain. Play the mountain. Cast this and have it counted. Um, put it on top of library, I guess. And then we're going to cast this with flashback. Sacking a mountain. Lose that, sure. Put it on top of library. Felix comes back, gets a counter. We get him for seven. It's aggressive. That's what we want we to be doing. We are on 12, though. What if they, like, aggro us? Wait. Oh, wait. The Phoenix. Oh, bollocks, Rob. The Phoenix coming back turned off Delirium. <laughs> so we should, have, we should have discarded the Demi Lich. Oh, dear. Did that not was... see that at all. That was silly. That was dumb. Mariner, sure. Tide Shaper off of Cavern so it doesn't get countered. Cool. Turn my islet into an island. No, nah, Naki, nah, it was all part of the plan. I wanted the uh, that creature to die. Obviously. I have to shot myself here, aren't I? Because both our mountains have been drawn naturally. A little bit of Perfect. fortune. Oh, we do have a mountain. No, we have an island here, not a mountain. I see it's Blood Moon. Let's not do this. Discard the Demi Lich. Feels like it. Yeah, because then we can cast it next to these lands that we keep drawing. Mm -hmm. In four. If they play a lord, they put us on a two turn clock. Actually, if they play anybody, they put us on a two turn clock, actually. Yep, there you go. Yeah, we should have just got the lich last turn. Nope, bouncy. That gives us something to loot with, doesn't it? I believe it does. We want to draw a first day at school, I guess. Right, let's rebound this. Cast it. Discard this. Draw that. Draw that. Go. Thought scare oh, ourselves. Yeah. Try and find a. F oh, no, we don't. Okay. All part of the plan, Fuel. Chat. All part Fuel. of the plan. Fuel. Fuel for that graveyard. Oh, it's one card down, Rob. Oh, if I hadn't cast on. the one drop spell, then I would have cast it, and then we would have got ourselves uh, nine power of flying and killed the... No, no, this doesn't fly, so we wouldn't have killed them. But it wasn't... It was not lethal. Aye. Well, actually, we do have enough blockers here. We just need them to a bounce spell or a lord. That's quite a high ask, honestly. That is a big ask. But let's see what we can do. I really like Demi Lynch. Yeah, it's a really cool card. Okay. Cool. Boom. Got it. That was a relatively close game. Yeah. See, unlike the control match, that was actually interesting. Shame about the vial. Oh. We haven't really got an answer to it, but Mystical Dispute seems like a good card. Well, we do that and then I cut. And then maybe. 
maybe you take your thoughts, go around. I got shoved back in. Let's go with that. Oh, cool. looks good. Yeah, I wasn't happy about the loss yesterday, Mac Fizzle, but I don't know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty over it now. I'm pretty over football in general with the fact that our country categorically became the fucking worst <laughs> as soon as we lost. Yeah. <sighs> I was fuming reading through socials this morning. Like just all the fucking racism and shit. I don't understand it. Yeah. Fucking England, what a bunch of cunts. Um. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of this hand. But what if we draw a land drop? Then we're off to the races, Vince. I'm going to risk it. <laughs> when, when you're this far down, you might as well just fucking go for it, right? I guess that's so. What, that's my motto. When you're losing, Keep you've got nothing to lose. Digging. <laughs> go, Dragon Rage Chandler. Interesting. Okay. It makes a hand a little bit worse. So good at this game, Rob. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> it's not like Phoenix there, so I guess we don't cast this now. So next time we can go Thought Scour, Lava Dart, Lava, lava Dart. Dart. But we kinda wanna There is value in blowing up our island mountain, potentially. So we might want to save that until later. That is true, yeah. But we're probably gonna challenge down forces to do it anyway. Yeah, that's true. Chalice of the void. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I guess we'll just keep up missile disputes at this point. Yeah, I think so. There's no cavern in play. We just shot our course, throw a lich in the bin. And yeah, see what happens. Well, actually, we can cast him hand next turn. We've cast one spell this turn, haven't we? Yes. Cast two more, and I'll make it possible now. So we can cast this one from our hand next turn. And we can keep up Mystical Dispute here as well. To get them! That's gas. That is gas. Not gonna lie. Nobody expects the second Spanish copy of Mystical Dispute. <laughs> oh no, have they just got attacked with a 2 2 each turn? It's like our one weakness. Eggs. So we go to 13. Yep. Okay. Oh, hello there. That's interesting. Can we... so first day class is 2 mana. This is 1 mana. And then we can cast the damage for 1. And we've got a Phoenix in the bin as well. If first day of class is just another 1 drop, we're loving life. Or do we chart a course this turn to try and go deeper? Not sure. I think we've got, got enough here, right? We probably only make one lich. Hmm. I think we've got time to wait. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, we can wait till next time to go real ham. I mean, they got a clock with those uh, mute, mute faults. Yeah, if a fair taps out, we get to slap them for like a million. Oh, that's right. Well, it's actually 14, but. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to draw a phoenix in amongst this lot, that'd be pretty gas. So discard the the eyelet? No, yeah, the eyelet. Yep. No. Why not? Because actually, I think we can go now, can't we? Because we've got a land drop for this turn, right? Or have we played land this turn? We are on turn five. Uh, no. Yeah, we're. Well, I, I know we're on turn five, but did we miss a land drop in turn three or four? I don't think so. I guess it doesn't really matter because we just go discard this. Yeah, we did play a land. If we if we were playing a land here, we can go like this plus this and flash it back, cast both liches, get the arc, and just hit them for the 14. Ah, I see. But we cannot do that, so... Instead, do we like flash back the dart, make a demi-lich and a phoenix, and we can haste this next turn? Yeah, I think that's fine. No, we can't haste that next turn because of the lava dart. They're going to have a bounce spell, aren't they? So maybe if we have Mystical Dispute, that would be good. Yeah, we can wait a turn. Okay. I guess the downside is they flash something in now. Untap, play a lord, hit us for nine. Yeah. Land, yeah, nine. So in for four, is it? Harbinger of the tides. Bouncy, bouncy, not bouncy, bouncy. We just, we just, yeah, yeah, just get rid of that. It's good to just for a lot. Okay, so we've got land drop. We've got first day of class. We've got lava dart. That's three spells. That's a lot. So we've got loads of stuff in the bin to get both damage out of the bin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we can discard the demi lich, the first day of class. But I guess we start with expressive iteration for one, two, three, four. So we've got enough mana for that. Yeah, yeah, we've got loads of mana. Loads. All the mana in the world, Bob! <laughs> right, we need to find a fucking demi lich in the bin. Oh, do we get to triple demi lich this time? So one of them into hand, which is the dart, I guess. I don't think this matters too much. Uh, to hand, we're going to go with. Salvaging. One goes to the bin, right? Oh no, none of these go to the bin. None of these go to the bin. Erp. Okay, so Lich to hand. Salvaging to... Bottom. Bottom. Dart to... Into exile. Top. Yeah, cool. Then we go first day of class... Ditch a lich. I think we've got the kill. I think we've got the kill. Play an eyelet. Use the eyelet. This doesn't like this is exile, but it'll go to the bin, won't it? It hasn't got a clause, but it doesn't. Yeah, it will, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so I get counted. Cool. Goes to bin. Then we cast a flashback. Sack this. Cool. Then we cast this for zero. It gets a counter. Then we cast this for zero. Exiting one, two, three, and four. Then we cast this for zero. One. No, we keep. No, we get one one box. One, two, three, and three and four. 
It's working. It's working. <laughs> Go to combat. Make a phoenix. Beautiful. There it is. 18 power and tough. 18 power. That's not 18 toughness. I don't know what the fucking toughness is. Four points less than that. 18 power, 14 toughness. Don't not attack Vince. That would be bad. Be embarrassing. Uh, let me get to cast chart, of course. Perfect. Oh, you have to pay for it? God, the card's garbage. Fucking hell. Also, should have exiled it. Should have left it in the bin for fuel in the fourth lich. We got him, chat. We got him. <laughs> Woof! That was a tight one as well. Two close matches. I want to run and pee real quick, Rob. So feel free to chat the chat while we stare at our sideboard. Okay, okay. Let's stare at the sideboard. Hello, chat, chat. Hello, chat. How are you all doing this fine evening? Hello. Yeah, by overcast and grave where I am. Tell me what the weather is like where you are. And ask me anything while Vince goes and pees for 30 seconds. I am keen to answer your burning questions, if you have any. What game was that? That was game two? Having some English weather here in Toronto. Jolly good. Hello, Rob. It's storming outside. And I'm pretty sure lightning just hit the neighbor's house. Bloody hell. Rob, what's your least favorite try-hard D&D class? Uh... uh that's a question. Warlock, probably. Uh, do you feel like this list has a place in the current meta? I think a version of this list does. Maybe not this exact list. Um, we could do. Rob, how do you like the Mind Flayer pre-con commander? I think it's awesome. I love it. And I will be purchasing said war, uh said mind flayer very very soon i'm very excited i think it's a wicked wicked card so yeah that's my thought on that um da, 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 da. i think all the uh the pre-con commander decks look really good um was that magic gathering yes do you put pineapple and pizza in the uk yes and i quite like pineapple and pizza have you built any new commander decks recently? Uh, I've, I'm sort of tooling around with Gissa and Geralf at the moment and uh, trying to make that into a good deck in paper. That's what I'm doing at the moment. How was England after the football match? Heard it was crazy. Uh, it's just a shithole. Like this place is every day of the week, so, you know, not much different there. They can't have chats the world and turn two, three turns of games in a way. It's just not possible. <laughs> That's how probability works, right? It makes things certain or not. Come on, don't do this to me. Okay. Oh, I'm so fucking good at this game. <laughs> um, I guess we should keep the Murfolk count down. I 100% agree with that. So let's go kill this and keep our mystical dispute. It's on top. Another land. Put it on top. Perfect. Do they have a one drop to trade for our channeler? Let's find out. They do. I might actually trade my mountain to kill this. Oh, oh, oh. mind games. <laughs> wheels within wheels. That was I was good. playing against uh, Jazz <laughs> Mega on my Discord. Um, uh, for Legacy League, that webcam, and I can take it in Priest and play. And then about halfway through the game, I activated my Violon Three, and she was like, "Oh, and I, was like, I did it on purpose." I was like, "Okay, resolves, put nothing in, untap." And she was like, "What?" I was like, "I'm just doing it to fuck with you." Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously, the containment Priest and play, chat, yeah, you would not get the body; it would be dead. Right, around the top. Oh. What's this? Bounce my thing? Whoa there! I'll just tap it. Okay. Yep. No surveil for us. In which case, let's do some expressive iteration. 
Express. Uh, what's going into hand then? So we've got a set of salvaging already. So we put it Land? in our... The land's going to exile because right. we're going to play it this turn. That makes more So sense. what do we want to store top next for next turn? Probably the iteration then. Yeah. Actually, no, we want things to put things in bin and rebound. So hand, bottom of library, exile, play, and pass the turn. <clears throat> yeah, well, they go. I've ticked a vial to some silly numbers before. Um, chat. I, I had to get. I had two vials on five uh, at a GPT, and vialed in smashes off of it. It was pretty fun. Okay. Yeah, this dispute looks really bad into both the vial and cavern. Okay, take three, yep, yeah. uh huh, uh huh. Left. Oh, fuck. Is this counterable? Yeah, probably. It is. It's well, a god, take that. You may be a god, but are you any match for Throne of Eldraenon Commons? <laughs> I think not. Get out of here. Um, do you want that? No? No, we do not. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That was tasty. Damn That's good. Sh That's good. That turns on our delirium. It certainly does. So here's the thing. Do we want to turn delirium on in the second main phase so we can block with this? Because that's attack each turn of fable. Ooh. Mm. I like that. <sighs> We're going to toss box. They can swing next turn for three, six... Seven, eight. Make another lord. Nine, ten, eleven. They can kill us next turn if they. Mm. Can we play this demolish this turn? That Maybe. would be good. Well, definitely. But if we won't be able to get delirium on then, no. then it's just better than that. So. Oh, we can't block because of island walk. Oh fuck! If they have a lord, then we're just dead. Unless we draw another lava dart, but we've, we've sided like most of them out, haven't we? No, no, we've got lava dance. Yeah, okay. So that's something. So you uh, digging for lava dance then? <laughs> Is that the answer? Yeah. Do we thought scour first, then manamorphose into salvaging, land demi lich? Yeah, let's see how Let's thought scour first. Because we can't block anyway. Put that on the, into the graveyard. Yeah. Mill two. We want to see some phoenix, it's really, don't we? And a, and a draw first day of school. Oh. Drew the phoenix instead. There's a dart. Um, then we've got another dart. Oh, double dart! Double dart! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> we're going to be sacking all our mountains just to play this Demi Lich. Okay, so we're going to... We're going to manamorphose now then to see what we draw. Yep. Into double... Uh, oh, wait, no, it's, it doesn't work because... Why? Ivan Walk, we've got an island in play. It doesn't matter. If this is dead, they don't have Island Walk. Ah. So we've got double love of that. Yes, yeah. that, that, there, yeah, that. That doesn't make sense. Uh, draw a card, make a red and a blue. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Oh, a chart of course put a phoenix in the bin. Oh, baby! Oh, 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 oh. It's getting exciting now. Every card. So, chart of course put a... Oh, no, put a Demolich in the bin. Attack for three. Second main, play Demolich. Lich. Mm, no, no lava, double lava dart play Demi Lich. That works, right? Yeah, yeah. Are we better off just famously salvaging those so we've got more likely to get Phoenix next turn? Or we can... or do we... Oh, no, no, no. We, we discard the Phoenix now. Yep. Hit them for three in the air. Keep the Dragon Rage channel for blocking. Play the Phoenix post combat, killing the Lord. And then we've got three bodies in play. Ah, uh, right? yeah. So we chart a course to get more cards, yep. I guess. Surveil for another phoenix. No, it's graveyard. Uh, it's, it's a graveyard. It's a land that goes to graveyard. Draw two cards, then discard a phoenix. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to go... Misty... 
move to combat, bring the Phoenix back. Attack for three oh, no. re in the air. Yeah. 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 Mm. I'm not sure if we want to attack. I don't think we do. Have Lord. Yeah. But they have a Lord we can't block anyway. So we just attack for three, right? Okay, yeah, that's fair. And then dart down the Lord of Atlantis. Using both our steam vents to do so. Yep. Uh, uh, lava dart, Lord of Atlantis. <laughs> Surveilling. Oh shit, if we did this pre-combo, we might pick more Phoenixes. We're about to find out if that's the case. Yep. But we might hit another Lich here, to be fair. Nope. Okay. I'll just pull it. <laughs> okay. That was an interesting turn of Magic the Gathering. That was interesting, yeah. Quite pleased with that. So, Lord only hits us for six this turn. Is it a god? Your gods have no power here! That's what I imagine the Demi Lich says. <laughs> Actually, is that... Is the skull... Oh, the skull is the skeleton wizard. For some reason, I thought it was like a, meant to be like a picture from like the Tomb of Annihilation, like the entranceway to a tomb. And that was part of the architecture. No, it's you a know it's skull old... in, front, in front of a doorway. <laughs> like, you know how some old magic cards don't even look like creatures, it's just like random shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Demi Lich is literally Skeletor from the 1980s Masters of the Universe movie. What, is, what does this mean? Uh, they're going to be able they, to They've got a lord, yeah, right? Yeah, they've got a lord, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. They pick up put the, um, the little dude in front. Do you want to race? Yeah, fuck them. We can kill them. They're fucking dead. Okay. Ooh. Hanging on to that lord. There is the god. Okay, what does this god do? I'll load the stuff, but I'm going to fake account spell again. I'm not going to bring something untapped, though, obviously. Um, it is instructable to at least two other merfolk. When attacks draw a card, other merfolks have ward one. Oh. Now they have ward one. Ward one. Kira Great Glass Spinner one. So that's not the fucking football scores. Sheffield Wednesday 1. <laughs> Terminator 2. Faithless salvaging. Okay, let's go, Manifos. Yeah. You know, that reading of the football results is like ingrained on my brain. It's so sophorific that they used to do that on telly. <laughs> How the fuck do we win here? We need to loot some more stuff. Yeah, we need to get some more phoenixes is what we need. We've got a gut shot, but it doesn't do anything. I think we just need to send that in the bin. But we have no other mana bar this two. Do we need mill mana? Put it into graveyard. Fuck it. Whatever. Go red and a blue. It's all the mana we need. We are a phoenix! Perfect. Uh, oh, do we have first day of school? Where did first day... Oh, do we shuffle? Oh, oh, fuck. When I fetched, we lost first day of school. Cool. <clears throat> Which is interesting, because that... Would that have killed... No, four, five, six, seven... No, because they've got blockers on the ground, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Now, this will get to cast a spell in combat. That's... That's good. Knowing that we drew the Phoenix and didn't bin it, innit? Mm-hmm. God. Yeah, that's not good enough. In for three. Keep our blockers back. Yep. Okay. No tick ups. It's a lord. It's a fucking lord. How pedestrian. <laughs> All right, you've got Island Walk. Yeah, we're dead. Okay, Ooh. interesting game. Yeah, tricky one. Right, I'm actually going to refill my water, then we can talk about what happened there. So I'm back in just two seconds. Sure.
It's going to show how good Faithless Looting really was, doesn't it? I've absolutely transformed that one. Is Finale of Promise in the deck? I don't think it is, no. What isn't even... What does that even do? Hi, chat. Oh, it's the red thing that makes all the things. Okay, that makes sense. Hello, Daedalus Streaming. I guess he's a, he's quite the Merfolk man, isn't he? Doesn't give him to understand. Hi, Rob. Tell us what makes you happy. What makes me happy? Um, my partner has a such a bad ear blockage because she has to wear a headset thing for work that she went temporarily deaf in her left ear for 10 days solid and she was been in pain for most of the week and then today the earwax dribbled out of her ear and now she can hear again and she's very very happy and that makes me happy that she is now happy is that like an ear infection was it uh yeah she's had a build-up of like wax and gunge in her ear because the um the earpiece that she has to wear for work she's got a new earpiece now but it's not made her ear any better until today and it was like she was in agony like she was on nights last night and she was trying to sleep today and she literally woke up because it hurt so much but yeah now she feels a lot better it's all good and everything's happy again so we're all oh, okay we're well, all... I'm, gl I'm glad she's uh she's better yeah what's well, today's drama <laughs> so let's talk about that you said we're going to talk about the end of that um yeah um uh... If we were faster, mm -hmm. I don't know. The deck doesn't seem fast enough. Yeah, I, I was uh, because you can smooth it out. Yeah, um, by not playing like like, like as good as fire to um where is it? Fire iteration is it's too slow. Yeah, this probably needs to be more one drop spells. Yeah, um, I was saying that, and to, to, we just have to be left like it just goes to show how powerful faithless looting is. Like, because even that one extra mana. Is yeah, meat. well, that's the thing, right? Like, the, the, like cheap spells and free spells are fucking great. Needs more free spells, I agree. There is the, well, oh, there's the one drop. Oh, excuse me, there's a one drop of flashback that has uh, makes a treasure, which is essentially a free spell. It's like a... Oh, yeah, strike it rich. Spell or well, yeah, yeah, that was one we were considering. I was like, I don't know if we need that. No, we do. We. It's good. We, it, 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 it also smooths out our draws, right? Because our opening hands can be dog shit with no lands in if we have strike it rich, because it's four more lands, right? So I think, that's, um, I think that's a worthwhile inclusion. Yeah, yeah, after playing with the deck, definitely. I don't know if it does smooth things out as that much, because it is also like a do-nothing. It sure. doesn't replace itself. yeah. yeah. Um, well, plus it's a Noxus player. Revival, that's a uh, stage two man, uh, suggesting that. I think yeah. maybe one. So I'll probably, well, we're going to play two more games of this thing, but I'll probably cut these two. Um, I think I'll play with salvaging more before I dismiss. I think I'd go down one salvaging up one first day of class because it's how we've actually killed people twice. Mm. And then, yeah, strike it rich, maybe Noxus Revival. I don't know if Dragonese Channelers are worth it. There must be some games where we just beat people to death with them. We haven't had those games yet, have we? No, we haven't. The trouble with um, Dragon's Range Channeler is that it's only... Like, in our in our ideal situation, the only thing that turns it on is another Dragon's Age Channeler because our other two creatures are coming out of the bin. Mm-hmm. So... Well, originally, I'd have put two Merc uh, Tide Regents into the list as well. Um, which I still think maybe even playing one would be fine because then we get to, in terms of just drawing, you're like, well, I'll just exile all this shit from my graveyard and make a big body then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Catch you later, Blastoise. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, the new orcs are great, Bob. Hang on, can I get. Uh, new 40k orcs. Let's go to spiky bits. Do they have. All the images. Yeah. So, we have the kill rig, which is a huge piece of rigging being pulled by a squig. Okay. Uh, which is also a secondary kit for the hunter rig, which is this one. So I'm going to get one of these and probably build... Well, it depends what the rules are for it, but I think this one's cooler. Because that guy up there is a psycho with laser eyes. So that's pretty good. I love the design um, about that. It's all just like they're all on the thing. And all doing... Yeah, so, so Orcs have a lot of this, where they, like, just hang on to stuff. Um, 
uh, just give them this game. Uh, this is this new like sub faction of orcs called the this, uh, called the what the fuck are they called? Someone in chat will say it. What are they called? Snake bites? What's it? Oh, beast snaggers. Um, I think they used to be called snake bites. Yeah, beast snaggers. So they're all about like herding and living with these things, but with tech involved as well. So they hunt down the great squigoths. Here's a beast boss who's got like a power claw made of a skull. Look, he's got he's got he's got a, um, a targeting squig, which is a squig that's like the Imperium doesn't understand how this technology works. It's a squig with a targeting computer built into it. I'm like, how the hell have orcs done this? <laughs> Makes no sense. Um, and then they've got this thing, which is just a giant gargant command station. Mm -hmm. um, the the Mo Mozgrod Scragbad on the big chomper. This is a great squig. This is a squigosaurus. Okay. It's just a giant fucking shark squig. He's fucking. Look at him. Look how cool he is. And there's an alternate kit for him, which is like an unnamed beast boss on a squigosaur. Mm -hmm. I think I prefer that I one. I prefer him. Uh, you prefer this one? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, you can play multiples of this. You can only play one of him. Ah, uh, okay. Um, but it's from the same kit, so I'll, oh, maybe I'll end up with both of them. We'll see. And then the new boys look like. Oh, new game. Oh, new game on me. Yeah. They look rad. Sorry, sorry, opponent. Yeah, they're so cool. This bullet. Sh I love the new tech, and I mean it's not great for like transporting because it'll snap off. But it's yeah. just so cool. You got like grenade pins being pulled and plumes of smoke and yeah, bullet, bullet shells, shells and... coming out. Yeah. And then they got death copters, which are a thing that uh, got released twelve years ago in a box set and then never got a separate release because that's what Warhammer used to be like. And people have joked about it for years. Like, where the fuck are the when are you fucking gonna release death copters on their own? And then even in the video, they're like, Death Copters haven't been seen since the Battle of Blackreach. Is it like an Imperial Transmission sort of thing? As if, like, why are the Orcs using old technology? It's pretty. It's kind of funny that they put a, put a lampshade on it and be like, okay, yeah, we, we're better now. But yeah, these have got one of the kits. There's three of them. Oh, I haven't shown it. It's got, it's got rockets on each one. Like, it's rocket-powered propellers. Great replays. That's so cool. Yeah. And also, the, I think the kit that was saying on the stream is that you can actually... Um, this is a non-gluable part. So it'll go on, you'll glue it over, so it clips on, and then it'll spin. So you have have spinning blades. Cute. Yeah. I love, that, I love that his, his sword is bent to, to fit underneath his uh, rotary blades on that the guy on the second one. That one. Oh, wow. That is... <laughs> that's, that's wicked. Uh, yeah, new orcs are wicked. I'm really excited for all the new stuff. I, I've Such always a had a soft spot for orcs. So, I've just, so I'm on the third book of the Horus Heresy now. I've just picked it back up, doing a bit of painting today. Um, I love the first. I might, my what I went to this week might be like a recap of what happens in the first book, sort of thing. I know the law videos are popular, and also I just think the horse house is actually really, really good. But they, it, it's the first mention of the orcs in the series because it's ten thousand years before forty k. Right, this is before chaos really got a grip on people and stuff. And there's just a cool bit where they're like, they just, they just killed a space station full of orcs, and one of the space marines are like, these aren't worth. He's he's of the emperor's children who wear flamboyant purple, and they're like all about perfecting the art of war. These are not worthy foes, so I must fight better things. And some other guy's like, well, they're pretty strong. And also, they have spaceships we don't even understand. I think you should, like, respect them a bit more than you do. And it's just these two space marines having back and forth about orcs. And uh, it's, it's just cool. It's cool. Spa it's just cool that the, the Imperium has no idea how any of it works. And that should be a thing they're afraid of, you know? Yeah, definitely. But then fast forward to 40k, they don't know how anything works. Uh, because all the technology's been lost. Because it's like a dark age of mankind sort of thing. Like, it's meant to emulate, you know, the medieval period where we stopped using aqueducts and everyone was dying of disease because we lost yep. a lot of technology, right? So grim. That's what 40k is. 40k is the aftermath of a similar thing. So it's really cool. But I love the, the thing, I, yeah, I love the thing, one of the things I always, I have always loved about orcs is that, like, their stuff, like, is most of the stuff and the technology and how it works is never explained. And their, like, fungi-based life form shit is, yep. like... Yeah, it's so weird and hilarious, and it's and isn't it, isn't there like I seem to recall like some of the old rules where it says they could just manifest like random shit or something. It's yeah, yeah, there's a lot of RNG in the old rules of forks and like older editions and stuff. But the new book might have that. The new book we probably will start seeing it this weekend, so we'll start seeing what the New York rules are. Um, yes, yeah, so it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. I'm all up for it. I hope this isn't control again. I don't even know if I can bother to play through a game match with control on camera. Just fucking bores me to tears. Takes up all my energy. <laughs> Is my voice out of sync again? Because I, I... Oh, did I unsync it for the D&D &D and it hasn't synced back up? Because I should have a delay on my audio. Someone tell me in chat. Oh, it's going to be fucking control again. 
Orcs vs. Snids, Otto. Yeah, that's a really common thing. The current thing they're going into, they have these campaign books that come out, which are meant to come out to give additional rules to armies way after your books come out. So you get your Orc book, and then like six months online, there's a campaign book that gives you a new set of extra bits. Problem is with COVID, it's all out of sync. Um, so you you got your Jukai book on the Saturday, and the Friday new rules were out in another book, and it kind of feels like bad day one DLC, but it's because everything's really fucked by COVID. Anyway, the new one, the Octarius Sector thing that they talk about uh, with the next book of Caradon, is actually about a theatre of war, inverted commas, where green skins are common, the, the orcs, and uh, the nids as well, uh, the Fleet Kraken. So yeah, that's like a really, that's part of the current thing that's been focused on. Um, that, and also that's got to exist in those man. There's so many fucking 40k books and 30k books. There's got to be, at some point, uh, Adeptus Mechanicus, like, tech priest talking to an orc mechanic or... Engaging with them in some... I mean, they don't talk much, right? They just kill each other, but... Um... Oh, oh I just can't stand it. I don't even dislike Control. As a matter of fact, chat, I just want to explain this. It's it's okay to play Control. I hate people on Facebook who's like, I hate Control, I hate Mill. No hand attack, no counter spells, that sort of shit, right? But I just don't like... Like, now, I just want to talk about Warhammer, chat to Rob, and not focus. And this involves a lot more focus than that. It's just... If this is an event, and we're playing like a GP, it's actually quite interesting, but this, not on camera, not narrating. Right, anyway, let's do some stuff. Let's go ahead and... What are we okay to count the spell? Thanks for sounding. Let's try and thought scale, and then we're going to cast one of these to get rid of the artwork in our hand. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, when I get my orc box, or whenever it'll be in a couple of weeks, I think I'll... Uh, See if there's any Black Library books on orcs. I don't know if there's any where the orcs are the protagonists. There should be. They also have this word called crumping, crumping. which just means to go fighting. <laughs> Let's get to crumping. I'm like, what? I've heard it so much in like Warhammer Circles. Like, I don't get it. Is it like a. I thought at first it was like a, appropriate from like hip hop circles, right? Because crumping sounds like something a hip hop artist would do. And I, I don't know, I sound very like... You're showing your cultural right ignorance there, aren't you? <laughs> it just sounds like, you know, I mean, I thought, is it something to do with drugs? It's like, oh God, I sound like such a twat. <laughs> um, yeah, let's cast it. Let's discard the other one. Oh, that was a free spell. There's another free spell. I guess we go iteration plus lava light gets our phoenix back. Okay. Um. Mm. So like, metamorphose to hand. Yep. And then bottom. Exile. Exile. Land. Pay the two. M Manamorphose. So we don't need to, because they'll count right that we will get the charcoal. So just charcoal here, we get our Phoenix back, right? Yep. Well, I think the... Uh, so, talking about, like, Warhammer Lord, and again, I'm still relatively fresh and new to all this shit. Although, something I've also learned is that no one really knows the fuck to talk about about this either, and everyone's just read the wikis and not actually read the books. Um, but I think the Adeptus Mechanicus are, like, the ones, the, the tech priests of Mars are the ones who know the most. They're the ones that, like, are likely to get things right. Um, alongside Space Marine Tech Marines, because they're, like, trained by them. Yeah, this, 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 this league is going rough. Yeah, definitely. Well, but I'll tell you the in canon reason for why the Land Raider is called the Land Raider and why the Land Speeder is called the Land Speeder. Yeah. I can't believe there Not is an in canon reason. Yeah, so it's almost like one of those things where, like, why do they even. You know, like, why they explain why Jack Sparrow is called Jack Sparrow in, like, the seventh Pirates movie? You're like, why, why are you doing this? No one cares. Or they explain the origin of his hair beads or some shit. You know, where they're like just, it's fan servicey, but in a way that no one asked for. Yeah? Yeah, it's a lot that not even anybody was speculating on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there is like an in canon thing where this explorer called like Arkham Land or Arkham Land. I don't know what his first name is, but Arkham Land, I think his name is. He discovered the STL files, or not STL, that's 3D printing. 
ST files, SDC files. One of the files are like old blueprints of like pre-Heresy era technology that was lost during all the Imperial Wars and stuff. And he found the one for the land speeder and the, and the raider. So they start to call them lands speeders. STC, thank you, because Cassini's Jones. What, like, apostrophe uh, S? Yeah, land and they got a short name the Land Speed Land Raider. Which is obvious that Land Speed and Land Raider are called Land Speed and Land Raider because they go over land, right? That's the obvious reason for why those things are called those things. Yeah. But someone at GW decided they had to have an in canon reason. <laughs> so there you go. Um, right, let's go Manamorphose. Let's go Manamorphose. Yep. So we've got a path to exile up over here. Let's go Manamorphose. We just want to hit one fucking late Lich. Yeah, man. First day of class, and we've got a chart course to go. So I guess we do... Why should we cast this first? Let's get haste. Oh, for the surveil. Oh, chat. Yeah, Mac Vizzle. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, dear. But at the same time... Oh, no, no. Because we have a land drop. I was like, oh, but we can cast two... Nah, fuck my old wind pipe. Okay. <laughs> Dragon Rage Chandler. Oh, no, but in that case, you want to go for, for, do the first day of class. Oh, <laughs> well, no. What have I done? What have I done? So actually, what I'd done, right, was inadvertently the correct thing to do, because the first day of class was going to enable the creature, and now I fucked, I've double punted. Can someone mark up two punts for me, please? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. If they go to path this, I might double, before combat, I might double sack lands to kill it to bring it back. Yeah, you would. <laughs> um, what, chart course? Yeah, makes more sense now. <laughs> Fucking Christ, what am I doing? Uh, we don't want that. No, and that will turn that one on. So there we go. Yeah. First day of class, yeah. doing really good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh baby, oh, oh. there it is. Right. So do we just discard the demi lich? We can cast it from hand, so we don't have to. We just cut off lava dart. Yeah, it's got lava dart. Yeah, because we don't want to cast it, do we? And then first day of class. Scarred Lava Dot again. Yep. Now they're thinking, what? Well, we churn through our deck, don't we, with this when it goes off? And now we cast Demolich and it just gets parved. That sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we've got three threats, to be fair. Like, put the pressure on. Trigger. Nice. And then we just choose Gut Shot. Take one opponent. Boom. That was not worth. Oh, I don't know why I just did. I clicked the wrong thing there. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely meant to go in the bin. Yeah. On the upside, we can go Arc Light Phoenix, Raw Dog It with Mana, and then double Lava Dartland to finish them on six. That'd be gas, wouldn't it? If that's yeah. how we kill it. If they raff now. <laughs> oh my days there it is there it is cool Play the world so now we're drawing a phoenix but, so they're dead right we've got them yeah so that was the correct thing to do was actually to, to yeah phoenix buddy, I'm yeah so, I'm, Secretly I'm so good, good at this game magic. like just fucking just un, un, it's, it's wild how good at this game I am I've also attacked that mana horribly. So, cool. Phoenix. And then... You want to do the... No, because it wouldn't have got back... Oh, we could cast Lich with it, though. In case they have our uh, Force Negation here. Are you missing a point of damage here? 
Oh, I am. These are not four. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, it's fine. I'm still going to win. Lava dart you. Lava dart you. Cast the lich. And there's pretty god they don't wrath for uh, two turns in a row. Stumbling towards a win here. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Building in resiliency by uh, playing carefully. Yeah, the Admech have like a civil war during the her heresy, which I think is the fourth or fifth book, which I'll get onto soon. Well, I say soon. Next month, perhaps, if I get time. Um, where they have a civil war where one of them, want, one of those fabricated generals wants to allow the creation of AI, and the, other one, the rest of them are like, no fucking way. And, uh, yeah, they fight over it. And the reason that the fabricated general of Mars, like, sides of Horus to fight, like, the, the Imperium is because... Horus gives them, it like murders this entire civilization, gives all their attack to the Admech on the condition that they follow him into war. Thick old toaster shagging bastards. Okay. Jace. You have no power here, Jace. If they bounce this path, this, maybe they do. Draw three, Oof. then put two back. Oh, okay. oh, oh, risky business. Double path. Oh, I'm so good. So good. We win a lot of game ones and then just get fucked, don't we? Well, they're casting Wrath of God and not Supreme Verdict, which is interesting, so that's good. Okay. There's this other thing as well that happens when you listen to the old Warhammer books, Rob, is that um, there's, like, just people rock up. It's kind of like, um, you get a lot in comic books, too, where you've heard of a character and you've never seen them before and they first rock up. Or they just, like, you know, in s s smaller side publications, they'll, like, show Superman in one panel or whatever. And you're like, I know that guy. I know who that is. Am I the only one excited to see new Death Core Krieg models? Duke, what are you talking about? That is one of those sentences for some reason that irrationally bugs me. Am I the only one excited about this thing that the entire internet or community are excited about? Like, no, of course you aren't. Am I the only one who thinks cake is good? No, everyone likes cake, you fuck. Jesus Christ. So no, Duke. I appreciate you bringing it up. But I'm having another conversation, but other people are also excited by the 38,000 people that tuned in to watch the fucking reveal trailer thing. I don't like cake. Shut up, Trouser Snake. Fuck off. He is better than cake, though, to be fair. What is better than cake? Pie. Pie is just a version, a form of cake. Exactly. You can't have savoury cake. You can't have savoury pie, therefore. You can't have savoury cake. This one's disgusting. You've never had meat cake? <laughs> You've never had fried spam cake? What? Also, also, fish cake. Damn. Touche. Yeah. Touche. Also, what about when you get caked in mud? Is that savoury or is that sweet? Depends on the mud. Wait, pie is not a type of kind of cake. Shut up, Mango. What are you on about? Pie is 100% on the cake spectrum. Um, cracking this. Is fruitcake savory savory? No. Is it? No. Oh, fruitcake sucks. Fruitcake's got fruit in it. Yeah. What's that? Or desserts a cake then? No. If you get your just desserts, that's not a form of cake. Fish cakes are not actual cake. It's in the name, Otto EB. It's called fish cake. What is wrong with you tonight, chat? Am I the only one excited for this huge announcement that everyone's excited for? Fish cakes aren't cake. Fucking hell. Jesus Fucking hell. Jaffa cakes are cakes, trouser steak. 
They literally had to... The, the, the it, fucking yeah. the meme, the, the fucking the ancient story for the ages that they had to prove it was cake to get the fucking tax break. God. And that's one of those things that people remember the other way around a lot, don't they? Where they're like, mm. oh no, they, they had to prove they're a biscuit. No! No, they go hard. They go stale. Biscuits go soft when they go stale. Cake goes hard. Like me, I'm always going hard. Watch this. Right, what are we okay? This is salvaging again, isn't it? If the salvaging is the card we're always happy to get countered, does that mean it's the worst card in our deck? There's a philosophical discussion for you. Oh, they let it go. Okay, shit. Um, let's go this. I'm not always hard. I always go hard, like ham. Ham stop. Naki, oh. don't misquote me for fuck's sake. Well, actually, that, that bums me out. Don't do that. That makes the whole quote thing just bollocks, doesn't it? Because it's not things I actually said. Okay, fairy. That's a problem. Nah, we lose half of this spell. I was only interested in the front half anyway. <laughs> like, you know, like a loaf of bread that you don't finish by the end of the week, so it's gone mouldy. You know? Yeah. Actually, no one wants the front end of it. No one wants the end of a loaf, though, do they? No. Manamorphose. Go. Problem is, if you make a drip down, it's just turned by going, like, really wild with it. Let's just bounce it. Yep. I fucking hate it, Rob. Why the fuck is this a thing? Why is it for? Why does it start for? <sighs> Why does it start where it starts? Why does it cost what it costs? Why does it have a fucking static line of text that only applies to us? Oh, God, it's so shit. So unbelievably, hideously dog shit. Right, anyway. Anyway, 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 anyway. We need to find our first day of school, don't we? We The Akura Combine gave me the Orc Half of Prophecy of the Wolf. Gazgor is kind of intimidating in the model to assemble. Yeah, Gazgor is fucking cool, though. Okay, take kill. Oh. He shoot the um, Teferi twice, and then they can't mount it. But that, that costs us all our lands. Uh, better, than, better than keep the threat on board. Yeah, but if they go path... True. I mean, it's definitely an option, but it, it's an option where we could just end up absolutely... And also, doing so means we can't keep up um, just in the school dispute. Makes sense. Okay. So yeah, definitely it's a, like a, a potential line for sure, but I think it's probably too hard. Oh, Otto's got a point. If they do Pathos, we get on land. First day of class, first day of class, class you twat. That's first day of school, Anstadon. You slipped into an alternate reality, Anstadon. I'm really scary. sorry, mate. It used to be it used to be that in your reality, but now you're in our reality. Very very, oh, Teferi shuts down dispute. Fuck. Well, I mean, to be fair, though, if they do take it down, we can lava dart kill it and then count on what they do next. No, because we can't lava dart in their turn. Lava dart now? Too late. Okay. No, it's not too late. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know where we were. We can... Oh, we don't have to lose both mountains, actually. So we can just go... Shock ourselves. I don't know why I shot myself, because I'm about to... Oh, it is too late. It is too late because this is yeah, yeah 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 yeah. It's not just turn; it's just at any point. Why? Sorry. Oh, it's just shit. How many games of Magic, right? Both in playing and watching, have been made better by the existence of this card? Right, and then then answer how many have been ruined by it. Well, I mean, I'm sure there you go. our opponents who play it get yeah, a lot of fun. I think it's I think it's like ninety to ten. Honestly, I think it's that high. 
fucking hate War of the Spark. I hate it so much. It was like it was like the fucking harbinger for the fucking fire design shit. It was like, look at me, Ma. I'm shit. Okay, they got Path to Exile here, haven't they? Although they would have bounced it. Yes. So let's go to combat. Probably should have gone to combat. Probably should have tried to find a load of... Um, I guess we attacked a fairy. It's not going to... It doesn't matter, does it? Nope. And then we're going to cast a charter course? Yep. Woohoo! Does it... Can't we cast it? Oh! It's not, you don't get to cast it until the end of the turn. You have to cast it right now. So no, we can't cast it. It's a fairy. Cool. Cool. I thought it was until end of turn. It is not. You just exile the main copy. So I shouldn't have exiled it either. Um, okay, well, but we get to get brap to fairies. That's something. So the irony is, if Demi Lich had been printed in the last set, you probably could do one more flat that you just wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Should have done this before combat. That was just really bad signal to my part. <sighs> this? Got back. We can't. Sorry? We can't. No, we can't, Rob. We don't get to play any magic. Oh. It, it's just like, don't. You can't do fucking shit. <laughs> Go again. God, I fucking. Honestly, Wizards of the Coast. What are you smoking? Uh, salvage your waiver. Oh, no, you have to charge away with. No, we attack this turn so we don't get to discard. We have to salvage. If you want. Salvage next turn. I think I think raw card draw is fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you actually taking the fucking piss right now? Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. That is amazing. <sighs> I would go as far as to say, Bob. Mm -hmm. This is the one thing we did not want to happen. <laughs> yes. Fucking I would hell agree. fire. I would wholeheartedly agree. Okay, it is okay. If we get to swing, we might be okay. To be honest, though, I was right. We can salvage one of these away next turn. That 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 statement I made is still true. That's, that's still a um, true statement. Hindsight is 50-50. Breath, oh god. Yep. I um I do so when I ran the lone version of this this morning, which was definitely worse, but the amount of games where I draw I well, end up with like four Phoenixes in hand, it was just insane. I was like, this this has gotta be over odds. This has gotta be over odds. I know I'm getting lucky, maybe I should give the deck more chances to not run like that, but I was like, no, like the Phoenix are coming home. Yeah, they're coming home to roost in my arsehole. Okay. So, get rid of Phoenix number one. Oh, there we go. More options, more opportunities. Okay, so next turn, we're going to get all the Phoenixes in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> then we just got to get them back out of the graveyard. Exactly. Fucking hell. I feel like I'm organising like, like a fucking school trip. You know, yeah, just like herding cats, like, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I've got like a fucking clipboard. I'm trying to count the kids. Two of them are missing. One of them's got a nosebleed. And I'm just like, oh, I wish I wasn't here. Wish I wasn't here. Yeah, so, um, so as you we were playing Cathartic Reunion originally. Staxi was taking all the credit for this deck being cool earlier. I think didn't want to play Cathartic. So I uh, blame them. This fucking fly is getting audacious. Fuck off, fly. Surely Cathartic oh, Reunion is better than Big Foot Salvaging, right? The idea was it for it to be the second spell. The rebound gives you a spell on the second next turn. Mm -hmm. So Cathartic was a hundred percent better with Dredge in the deck. Right. Then I still was like, oh, maybe this is better because of the rebound. But it hasn't felt good. It hasn't felt good. But again, we have paired uh, two rounds out of four so far against Teferi. Where that is particularly bad. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yay. Okay. Here comes the free spell where it's going to show off how good it is, right? Yep. This is it. Let's fucking go. Get in the bin, you bird bastards! Oh, look at this. Look at... Oh. No, I don't need a second one. What is this double shit going on with? Fuck off. Right, let's go... It's the first day of class. 
I haven't been playing Dunning Creek. Maybe that's the right way to go. Maybe that's the right way to go. Maybe not the right way to go. Force of negation with enough to pay for a mystical dispute. Do we want to dispute this? Well, they can still pay, can't they? Yeah. But it does tap them down for the rest of time. But well, then we don't do no, anything else. For the rest of our turn, they just pass back and they're like, yeah. Oh, looks like you got me. Okay, that's fine. We drew a second one, so we can't possibly lose. Um, we've cast one spell, right? I'm, I'm stuck. No, we cast two? Did we cast two? Oh, yeah, because we had <laughs> So if we had a land, if this was a land... We'd have been quids in. Oh, well. Would disputing just trigger the birds? It would have, actually. It would have triggered both birds. That is actually true. We should have done it. We should have done it. Mark that up as a punt chat. X clan punt right now, one of you. Come on. Get your punts out for the lads. Oh, are we going to dispute that? Oh, fuck. I was too busy thinking about punts and lads. I was too busy thinking about punts and lads. No. It's all right. It's okay. Because that one doesn't stop us playing magic. And we're going to draw a land next time. And we're going to go fucking wild. Fucking wild. Let's see how. One tap two lands. <sighs> if I don't defeat, it's because I am chat. This deck is cool, but it's complicated. Fuck off, fly. God damn it, fly. I'll fight you. I won't really. I'm not really a big fan of violence. Let's um. Let's do this. I oh, got mana up and everything. I'm gonna hurt myself more. You can never hurt yourself enough in, in modern. Well, yeah, it's the same. You might as well stab yourself in the arm or them. Um, you playing against a fairy? It'll give you something to do. Go on, cast cryptic so I can scoop. Oh. Fuck, keep playing. Fuck. Uh, Aren't Phoenix? That's not a land. Fuck my lands. I guess we sacked too early, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> That's our hubris' reveal. Fucking hell. You fuck it. You yeah. fucking what, son? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we yeah. should have cast this, honestly, actually. Probably, but... Then... Oh, no. Can we just go to game three? I'm so fucking tired of your counter magic shit. Right then. You fucking... You fucking what, son, son? I'm going to give it to you. I'm Ronnie bloody Pickering. <laughs> do we... Do we run it back? Do we play some of this stuff? They didn't play any... Graveyard hate. No, we got lucky and still lost. So... Sod it. Why can't we win a post-board game, for fuck's sake? I think it's because our creatures are too hard to... Like, if we don't get our creatures out on turn two or three, they just bring in removal to deal with them, and there's, there's such big hoops to jump through to get our creatures down after turn four. I don't, it shouldn't be that. Well, after turn... Mm. Like, Thanks for the sub, Devil Knight. You know, Devi Knight, even. Once they've managed to Devi. get their feet under them. Okay, we're going to count us by the fucking Teferi. Yeah. Means we ain't doing shit on turn two, that's for sure. Yeah, we could minimal more things. Yeah, but then we tapped out. And we can't cast this and they untap them. Oh, we're a turn ahead of them, we're on the play. Yeah. Oh baby, we can do we got every Rob, we can do anything we want. We can do everything, Vince. We can do The this. world is our proverbial oyster. Oh yeah. I don't know why I shot then. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm very tired. That's what that is. <laughs> that was... What the... F Why did I even do that, chat? <laughs> fucking yeah, hell. Right. Okay. Do you want to chart, put the arc like in the bin? Because yeah. yeah. we, we can go shields down on turn two, can't we? Do we need the Manamorphose now? We don't. No, chart it, now. Yeah, get the Phoenix in and use the Manamorphose to get the Phoenix out again. Ditch this... Not bad draw. Hmm. 
pass to them. Wrecking. Go on, shock yourself. Join the club. Yeah! I've started a trend! <laughs> I love that opt. That is the best opt. That is the, by far the best opt. Uh, anyone disagrees with me, they're wrong. It's not, it's not subjective. The better thing I love best about that is that the threat, you can see the threat through the porthole window, which is such a cool perspective to get. Like, you really feel you're in the room there. And um, the flavor text too. We need alternatives, Hannah, yelled Jared. Now, like, it's above the ship, and she's like, somehow frantically writing down plans to fight this Predator flagship or some shit, I don't know. Not Predator flagship, Phyrexian ship, whatever it is. Right, let's fucking go. We've got five minutes in this game. We're gonna win. We're gonna just chart a course again, I guess. Keep our mana up this time. So we keep this up, don't we? Yes, hundred percent. So just play a channeler and pass. Yeah. Don't go path in my heart. Actually, a land I wouldn't even. Yeah, that wouldn't even complain about. And we have land, like... sorcery, sorcery. No land, creature, sorcery in the graveyard. So almost delirium. That was a pretty good spell. One mana, you get a land in your deck, your opponent discards a card. I'd play that. If that was a magic card, you'd play that, wouldn't you? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Far seek for one less mana, and they have to discard a card. In red. Seems Jesus. good. Seems good. That's power Come on, it's fairy. Do you think you're fucking hard enough to fairy? Come on, then. Oh, I'm looking for... Um, this is... This is uh, oh, oh, it's not to fairy, though. I'm still going to get rid of it. Yeah. It's too much of a pain in the arse. Yes. yes. Okay. Manamorphose. Okay. So Manamorphose is for a reach. It sure is. We want to get a land now. Hmm. We could iterate. Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to iterate. Because iterate we're gonna... could almost certainly get us a land. Yeah, but we need a land plus a spell now, right? Because we cast four spells for the Demolich to be free. Yeah. So I guess we... Iteration, because that gives us chances to heal those things that we need to hit here. Uh, Madam or foes? There we go. That's good. So, to hand... And, yep. Oh, no. Do we want another Lich to the land, then? Mm. We do, don't we? Because we've already done two spells. Well, yeah, if we, yeah we can do it. Yeah, yeah. So, we go... Wait, okay, so, Lich... Lich and... No, Lich to hand. Oh, hand. Exile the Madam or foes, because we're casting it. Exile anyway. this. And put that on the bottom. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, fucking hell. Um, on the bottom of your library. Bottom of your library. I swear that order has changed. I swear it was exiled earlier. Mm. I'm not going to go looking right now. Do this. Cast this. Don't have force negation, please. Nice. Red. Blue. That's... First day of class. Ditch a lich. <laughs> um, cast lich. Cast a lich. Ditching this, 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 and this. Yep. Trigger. I definitely thought this was legendary the first time I read it during spoiler season as well. Cast this. For free. So this is and a Phoenix. 14 damage. Putting them on two. If they don't have Wrath, they're in trouble. They're going to have Wrath, though, obviously. Yeah, probably. Because we're not lucky enough for our not to have just drawn it. No, but... At least not, to, not today, anyway. I'm going to say no. Okay. Okay, there's no point in exiling stuff right now. No. Even if they do Wrath of God, we've got enough spells in hand and we'll just win anyway. So... They need... That's true. Yeah, so they need That's Exile true. Wrath. So they need to settle the wreckage. Okay. Nice. Take that to fairy, you fuck. God. Jesus fucking H Christ. Right, here we go. We're going for that. Oh, the 2-3. The, the fabled 2-3. Are we excited, chat? Let's do it. So, Bob, when are you uh, painting your first models? Oh, no. Get behind me. Satan. I have lots of D&D &D to write, and... 
I have I have a new microphone, so I can make other things. Oh yeah, that's fair. Yeah, there are other time sinks, right? Yeah. Indeedy doos, indeedy doos. It was really nice today, just to sit down for like. Cause I haven't painted properly in ages, for like I think I did four hours of listening to an audiobook and painting. And it was lovely. Yeah. Kind of mulliganness. Yes. Fuck, it's a one lander. I was thinking, oh, we need a blue source. This is a one lander that costs less spells than the lo- the other hand we looked at. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Iteration to dig us out of trouble. Get rid of dart and. Well, dart Shen. and surveil twice as well. Mm-hmm. So maybe a land and. A... Land channeler. We might win off to channels. I'm yeah. We're gonna put back dart and forest and okay. see where we go from there. Makes sense. I'm playing as Char. I don't know who Char is. That is that. Is that important? Okay. I do can. I'm just going to Lou. I'll be right back. No worries. We play a channel that we can't possibly lose. It's new. It's powerful. Carney Garden. So this is some form of amulet, I assume. <clears throat> in for one Jordan the Phoenix there's a bit shit I prefer some sort of uh, a looter it's golden town okay oh is, is Cascade playing Colony Garden now is it interesting Cascade combo thing. What's the combo thing? <coughs> oh, what world? Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, there's, there's a suspend one, right? Um, It's times like this that I do miss Faithless Looting. We're getting permits into play. Let's suspend. If they're um, cascading, they're not going to have anything to interact with, are they? Let's surveil our way. Surveil away, surveil away, surveil away. We'll draw that. Oh my god, are we going to ride these uh, channels to victory? Maybe. Apparently, they're. Chat think they're cascade warp world combo. Because there's a cascading warp world. Um, so actually, yeah, having three of these on the board gives us more chance of, for us to hit our demi I mean, whatever they cascade oh, into. Oh, Glimpse of Tomorrow. Yeah, Glimpse of Tomorrow. Yeah. I think, so the whole twin unbanning thing, real bling skiddler, I think unbanning twin when you've got all these like war the spark hate walkers to like go with it. So you can play like Jeskai twin with the fairy. Oh, Sounds like more. the worst fucking time in the world. So no, war the spark has completely ruined that. Uh, oh wow, that that is a staple of omniscience draft on arena. <laughs> <laughs> Not omniscience draft. Is it omniscience draft that we're playing those? I th- think it was. I think. Yeah. Yeah. You card in your hand, yeah. Okay. Let's see it. So we're gonna go warp world. Do we all do it? Shuffle no, just in then. The just then. Oh, it's just then. Yep. Interesting. They hit. Second so hopefully they want to go spin it again. Mm. 
All right, time to learn to fly, my pretties. Come on. In the words of Dave Grohl! Yeah. Surveil. Do we want that? No. Not as much as we want a lich. Or a phoenix. No, or nothing. Double lava die here. Draw a card, make a red and nice whoop, red and a blue, not a green vince. Hit a land, okay. Cool. And then we're gonna go lava dart this thing. Oh, hello there. Hello. Put into graveyard. graveyard. Put Aura. into graveyard. Aura. Yeah, why not? Just put shit in the graveyard, you give a fuck. We're gonna lava dart the same one again with this one. I should tap that for mana. Bonks. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of things going on. on, on uh, oh, scoops. If we had to. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Fuck you, Warp World! 2 3, here we come! <laughs> okay, they're Warp World. So we're just going to counter the Warp World and win. That was good. That was a good call, chat. You got it. I don't understand what the payoff was going to be. I still don't, I don't think. But that's fine. It's to me, that's part those of the big fun. dumb idiots, I think. Like, you just put any old big dumb idiots in at your end as, <laughs> as your wing con, right? So, we're going to cut... I mean, I guess Emrakul is probably the, the, the wing con. Because then you can... Because you can shuffle it back in the graveyard, can't you? You can keep spinning. So, I would anticipate Emrakul's. Got that, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got no creatures there, apart from these little fish things. Because everything else is way bigger. Oh. Um, enablers. There's a lot of enablers. Let's give it a go. I think this is good. Probably a, like some some don't want to be nice. Oh, let's see what we find. Right, let's go. Hmm, come on. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Uh, that's not terrible. Okay. Better than a kick in the teeth? It's better than a kick in the teeth. Fucking fly. I thought they were going to pass that fucking plane of land then. I was like, well, 2 3 it is. E easy game. Okay. We're safe to play tap there because they can't play a. There's no two mana cascade other than the creature at sorcery speed. Mm -hmm. UK's number two. Um, UK's number one, mate. Name another, name another one. Go on. I dare you. Uh, I don't think tapping out's a good idea. We. Well, the I mean, problem is they're gonna. The only thing we're gonna cost. Yeah, they're gonna cost a red, uh, the red green one, and we're like, yeah. wow, fuck then. Um. But if they cast Shardless Agent, we can get them. So yeah. I guess it's so, worth. Well, the only other thing to do is express iteration, isn't it? Which is not really worth it. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. So we have man up for dispute. They can't shard us. So they do the other one now. Whatever. Like. Also, like their game plan is to have as many permanents out as possible, so they might be sitting on it to be able to get. Well, they fired it off under four last time. But I think I can't remember if they're under pressure or not. Oh, yeah, there's three channels in play. They were under pressure. Uh, and they just fire it off now. One outburst. Give it a shot. Cause three out of sixty ain't bad. Okay, this is all good. Yep, yeah, this is good. It's all good. Guess we just fire reiteration, keep our blue source and pray. No, 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 no. We just don't bother tapping out. Yeah. We just we just keep up normal uh, dispute mana. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. 
Because we've got Thought Scour, we have time. We can't really... Because they can Violent Outburst in response to, after we cast Thought Scour, and we're like down to two mana. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. Unless we are happy to go Shields now. Well, they might be going for it now, you see, instead of trying to get an Emrakul. Looks like they might be. Is it? They are there taking is. the gamble. Okay. Um, I guess we let this resolve and count the other bit. Yes, hundred percent. Because that doesn't do anything. Let's they now cascade into an uncounterable spell out of the sideboard. That would suck. Uh, Forty-seven cards out of the chat. Omniscience. No. Oh no. So, yeah. Okay. So that we counter. Yeah, we're counting that. I just want to say the, the grave, the library sec. Like... Oh, um, Grizzle Brand. So Grizzle Brand. Oh, so Omniscience and Grizzle Brand, a few other bits. Okay. Okay, cool. What, what does this do? Uh, if you have it in your opening hand, you make goblins. No, 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 I know it does, but I mean, what does it do to the deck? Uh, it gives you more tokens to spin into with Glimpse of Tomorrow. Oh, of course it does. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ricochet Trap. Hello. Oh, it's one red, though. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. This they just untap and go for it again. Come on, let's get lucky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they have one in hand. Do they have one in hand? They do. Do they hit goes up? <laughs> they do not. <laughs> Cool. It's a very cool game. It's so guys. funny. You're like, it's got a very funny, like, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> that is indeed a 2-2. Two -two. Yep. And they skip. Cool. <laughs> there we go. There we go, chat. Proof that I am the best Magic player ever, and our deck was absolutely unbeatable, except for those three times that we lost. Um, I think our deck's pretty fun. Oh, it was fun when we went off. I... Actually, I think we had, I had fun in three out of our five rounds. It's just the two rounds we were playing as Teferi that just weren't fun. That's true. <laughs> it's not funny. It's like, you know what? This deck's fun. Oh, but apart from the blitz where the format just isn't fun. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. It has RNG to start, but eventually the game just runs long enough to hit every time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I imagine. The more permanents you have as well, because... Oh, excuse me. The um the, the, the mold drifter impersonators, the green blue clue things, the clues are permanents, right? Because it doesn't, doesn't say non token, does it? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's all your things. Yeah, so the clues make you. Yeah. So you get added consistency once you resolve the second one or whatever. Yeah. What did I make of the whole picture, Ban? I made a video about it. Put out a video. It's it's 52 seconds long. <laughs> nice and bite sized. Honestly, good runs the bad rubbish. Um, I, I, get, I get the fact that like some people, uh, myself included, to be honest, want people to be less babied and. Like, let's just learn to play through stuff. But Hole Breacher is pretty fucking egregious. <laughs> like, it, it is... Like, at least to Fairy, for example, the one that we've been playing about tonight, is evened out in a multiplayer scenario of having multiple people to deal with it and creatures to attack it and playing through being generally bad in Commander, right? Exactly. Um, like, even Narset. Because like, Narset is the, is the yeah, other go-to, isn't yeah. it, with wheels? Yeah, yeah. I was more just comparing, like, other cards that are gross. But yeah, Narset is gross too, but it's not as gross as... As Hole Breacher. Yeah, because that... Hole Breacher's like... The, the, the whole game revolves around Hole Breacher at that point, because it's a creature, and goes to the graveyard, and everyone wants to fight over it to bring it back to life. But on their side of the board, and all that kind of shit, doesn't it? It just gets worse and worse and worse as the game goes on. Yeah, yeah. The, the problem with Hole Breacher, like among other cards too, I didn't talk about this this extent in the video. The video is more of like a news video, if anything. I just say good riddance about rubbish. But, like, the other obvious comparison is Notion Thief, right? I'm going to get that up on Scryforce as we talk about this. I really like Notion Thief, right? Well, it's the same thing, but... Um, but it's not. So, Notion Thief is the, probably the closest comparison, Narset being the other one. If an opponent draw a card, except for the first one they draw on each of their draw steps, instead that player skips and that draw and you draw it. So you draw more cards. So there's a couple of things. So one, this is an extra mana. Four mana is a lot more than three. Uh, two, this dies to a lot more because it's an X one. So two, three. three, it's black. Yeah. Yeah, so you can't play it in as many decks. And also, honestly, drawing other people's cards is good, and drawing cards is very powerful. But honestly, the whole bridge kind of is worse because it creates treasures, 
and the treasures are then just better off the back of a wheel. If you wheel with a Notion Thief in play, you're down three mana and up a load of cards, of course, but you aren't necessarily casting those cards. With Hull Breacher, you're casting more cards, potentially more wheels. It gets way worse. Like, it's the thing I actually didn't... Uh, maybe I should talk in a longer... I considered doing a longer whole talking head video on this, but, like, Notion Thief seems a lot more reasonable. Whereas, like, Hull Breacher is just absurd. Hull Breacher is a prime example of their design philosophy being a hot fucking mess for two years. And I've got this opinion that I want to stop telling people who design video games for a living how to design video games. They're probably, and card games or, or tabletop games or hobby games. Because they're probably better than I am, let's be real. But there is no two ways about it that Wizards of the Coast have dropped the ball repeatedly for about 24 months. It's just this... It's, it, we just can't... There's no way to say otherwise. Look at all the bans and the warping of formats and the mistakes that we're still dealing with. And Hull Breacher is near the top of that pile. Near the top of that pile. And it gets worse in multiplayer with the wheels because then the effect of it getting the treasures is, is aspirated to... Like, Hull Breacher is a reasonable magic card in Legacy. Like, it's not even... Someone flashing a Hull Breacher, like, oh, I'm about to get wheeled, but that's just part of, it's just part of the game. We're all doing powerful things. In Commander, it's nowhere near that. No, no, they're not testing things. We, we know that. They even say that. They're, like, very open about that. Uh, Bob, did you did you see the volunteer I did with Shivam and Chase? Yes, I did. Yeah, did you hear um, Shivam say about the um, Doctor Extortionist being designed for CDH? Did you hear that? That's so bizarre to me. Like, yeah, it's, unless, it's so strange. Unless, like, you know, because they work two years ahead, right? The timeline is going to be... Because we know that they are gearing magic towards, you know, a more collectible game than a competitive game like is the is the is the pro tour of the future just going to be competitive edh so you can take no, all I, of your I, secret lair version of sexy cards and then i don't think they're gonna i think wizards might completely move away from organized play almost completely like this is my video that i might be recording tomorrow that i got some notes on which is i think the face of magic itself is changing I don't think it's for the better or for the worse. It's just going to be fundamentally changed. And I'm talking across the board, like... I've come up making magic content now for, like, three or four years. Like, three years full-time. No, almost six years, three years full-time, four years doing a lot. And, like, magic has changed so much that time. There was an influx of people clambering to make arena content. Like, people thought they couldn't stay relevant unless they made arena content, right? And then we also had Wizards doing the same thing. I'd be like, okay, yeah, you make arena content and you, you fit our MO of, like, um, um, of what we need to make us look good in terms of diversity so don't, don't worry about our internal structure or how we hire but we can make it look good for all the content creators we we we, we um endorse and then those people got the uh, invites to stuff and things like that and then now they're kind of stuck where a re like it's unfair to them really because that's like the direction the game was going and then we're just like well actually a real doesn't matter too much now either we're just gonna have a I, 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 we don't have numbers for this but i have a sneaking suspicion the budget for arena has gone down because the animations are less now. And members of the staff are saying, oh, we can't do X, Y, or Z because we've got time. It's like, you're working for like a company that's making nearly a billion dollars of net revenue, isn't it? Like, <laughs> how do you not have the time? Like, the priorities of the company are changing all the fucking time. And we have the esports push, we have the arena push, and now we're on to commander and collectibles. Will it settle there? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, but the magic is changing. And I'm not saying it in a, the sky is falling, or it's a bad thing. But this happens with everything, right? We have this also shift. The other thing I want to talk about in the video, whether I do or not, I don't know, I'm going to write tomorrow morning, but it's that, like, there was a change when I came into the game as well, where, like, GPs started being um, more regular in the UK. We started, like, a three a year and stuff. We did, yeah. And we had that move from, when I was a kid, having those pro cards in your packs that you had no idea who the fuck they were. You'd heard of Dragonstorm from a friend who managed to watch like a like a downloaded clip of an ESPN game of magic they got off LimeWire or whatever, right? Yeah. There's that. And then we got to like social media magic where like the big YouTubers came up and stuff where we had like the, the quartering and wedge and professor and stuff early on and things. Or even before that, like um the pod uh the was it a podcast that um which Hagen used to do before you did Proto Coverage. Like that those things transformed magic for people because then you're like more ingrained because you know what's going on and stuff. And I started to follow people like, you know, Kibler and Brad Nelson and stuff like that. So things changed. Things changed then. Things changed as we went into arena and esports. Things are changing now. Where will we end up? Fuck those. But I hope, I hope to God there is some form of competitive magic somewhere. But it might just have to be a third party. 
in the much the same way that a lot of Warhammer is just third parties doing it now. Um, which is kind of frustrating. Yeah. I wish Hasbro would sell Watsy. Worst move ever to sell them. Mm. Well. Yeah, Hasbro have owned Wizards for a long, long time. The The big change recently is the fold-in and the more hands-on approach. Because Wizards were always a separate company owned by Hasbro. They're now just part of Hasbro. They're just part of their digital and get and get a like online uh, did you in game division or whatever yeah exactly they rub and that, that might also explain now, don't they? So. yeah and that might also explain the constant shifts in focus the cooks. constant shifts in focus too many cooks yeah or whatever the trend is that they think shareholders want to hear because obviously for a while it was esports and twitch wasn't it yeah definitely. and now i don't know if wizards even give a shit about either of those things well it's the thing it's the same thing with like it's the same thing with like the average your average video game audience, right? Is that like your average video game audience doesn't care about streamers or streams, like in, in the grand scheme of things. And I feel like it's very mm. much the same with like with magic, right? You know, like it's like not like your average garden variety magic player probably doesn't watch YouTube videos, probably doesn't watch you know the oh, yeah, Twitch definitely. coverage and all that kind of stuff. And by by steering into it so hard, like and trying to force the issue. It's 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 not a long term survival strategy. So they have to keep changing focus because they've got to keep chasing that golden goose. Well, right? that's the thing as well. They have this this fucking like this. It's basically a lie. And it's not fully a lie. There's not, there's some truth in it. There's a kernel of truth in it. But I feel like the way they the way they wheel it out to excuse stuff is just fucking nonsensical. Where they're like, well, when someone gets angry on the internet or whatever, or they've done something that's a general fuck up, like with the taking away the prize funds for um, Worlds and then giving it back to them as like a payment to be like, oh, whoopsie, looks like we might get in trouble. Let's actually do that sort of shit. They're always like, oh, well, actually, you lot don't really matter because you're not the kitchen table players that are the majority of the game people playing the game, right? And whilst that is definitely true, there's a huge contingent of people out there have no fucking idea like who I am. They have no idea who the professor is. And he's got like the largest audience on YouTube, right? Or Crokey's being like the biggest magic stream or whatever. But the thing you've got to stop and think is like, what are those people spending or doing though? Because I, I tweeted about this a bit before and people were like, tell me I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. I have no, no one has any numbers to really compare anything. So we can't, we can only basically like fucking guess, right? But something that struck me as a thing recently was a friend of mine had a load of friends around for, not, I wasn't with them, he's telling me about this. They had some friends on for EDH. First lot of EDH since the pandemic. Uh, and he's super franchised and they're all very casual. And he said to them, are you excited for uh, the new adventures in the Forgotten Realms set? Uh, and these are all people who've played a bit of Arena Stand, they played at Stand FM a little bit, they're more Commander. And like, he got varied responses, but the general feel was like, people going, is it even standard legal? I don't know. I haven't looked at the cards. I haven't, I, I haven't even opened my Modern Horizons 2 stuff that I bought, which is like a, like a pre-release kit and stuff. People are, because the, the churn of content and like sets and releases, surely your kitchen table players aren't buying everything. They, they can't, they can't be, right? So maybe, maybe I guess at the end of it all, is that this huge, amorphous, unidentifiable blob are spending shit tons of money, but obviously not each individual is spending shit tons. It's like, all adds up, right? Yeah. But there is a problem where like they're putting out so much fucking content that's so confusing. People don't know what's in any packs anymore, what's in standard anymore. Does standard even matter anymore? Like, it's, yeah, just, it's just so fast moving, it's unreal. What what relevance does standard have in a world when there is no competitive play or where competitive play isn't as important anymore? Well, they're, they're currently... They're, they're fucking it on every front. Like, I don't understand how they fucked us so badly when they didn't fuck it this badly for like 20 plus years, right? How are they fucking it so badly in the modern day? But like... <laughs> Everyone hates Throne of Eldraine. Everyone hates Throne of Eldraine standard. Everyone hates the fact that the new standard cards aren't good enough to compete with Throne of Eldraine cards. And by everyone, yeah, everyone but we've yeah, but this is shit. this is uh, we've been here before. Like Mirrodin, we have into Kamigawa was like everybody well, hated that is, that it because is the worst, nobody wanted the to worst play Magic. Time in Magic's history. And then the new set came out. Everyone got really excited for Kamigawa, and they were like, "This is just shit." Like, well, you're saying we've been there before, but that was literally the worst time in like Magic Standard ever, right? That's that's how it was the time that most people left, other than perhaps Combo Winter. Oh yeah, like, that was see, a bad again, time. again, you know these things like it all, it all comes but back they, around but, again. But the thing is, they have the power to just be like, nah, Throne of our Drain. We know it was a problem. We know we fucked up. We've admitted we fucked up with all these bands. Let's just we're just gonna end rotation. They changed rotation like what three or four times back and forth over the last like five years. Really? Don't even change it fully. Just be like, this time round, we're cycling it out because we know you're sick. 
And because everyone's playing more magic than ever with Arena, at least the people who like this stuff, right? Brazen Borrowers and your fucking hillside giant stompy shit. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. That's, that's the problem, though, because like, that says, like, if more people play more than ever, that says that cut things like Eldraine are, should be the way they go. Say again? If more people play magic than ever during Throne of Eldraine, then doesn't that just show to Wizards that... No. Sure, 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 but again, they should be doing that's, it. And again, it's the people who are complaining are the yeah, but players gonna... who don't make up. Yeah, the but that's, that's where they that's where they they point at, they point at the wrong thing and say, "Oh, look, it's working." Right? Like when they were like mm. the Walking Dead secret layer is the biggest selling secret layer of all time, and they point and go, "See, so it worked." It, and they use that to defend every piece of criticism leveled at them, and everyone's then going, "Well, no, because you did so many different things there. It's hard to identify what the success is. Is it just the Walking Dead integration?" Because, cool, that's probably not going to piss off Magic players if that's Walking Dead skins of cards like Godzilla was, right? Is it mechanically unique? Well, actually, maybe it is, because people were thinking these cards are going to be worth money in time, potentially, because they're never going to get reprinted properly. There's, and, then, and, and so on and so on. Uh, FOMO, fear of missing out, all that sort of shit. There's so many things they can point out, but they just they just shrug away Christmas. And they're doing, they can do that now, right? Oh, more people playing than ever. Yeah, sure, because everyone's stuck in fucking pandemic lockdown. Everyone's got spare money for not going on holiday. Everyone's buying collectibles because everyone on the internet saying collectible markets are up, uh, and everyone's just churning away on arena. Like it doesn't mean or prove anything because again, it's not you've got no control group to compare it to, right? It's not a very good experiment, I guess. Is what I'm getting at. Yeah, that makes sense. But um, but but on top of that, so Throne is boring as fuck, and no one likes it anymore. No one cares. That's a problem that standard always has to some extent, but it's yeah. worse than it ever has. On top of that, the fucking organized play is a mess. No one watches it. No one gives you shit, and they're dismantling it. So yeah, there is just why would anyone care? And then the problem with historic now, which might be like the answer to this on Arena, is that if you come onto Arena fresh or relatively new and you want a historic deck, you've got to spend real bank. To get the fucking wild cards yeah, to build one of these true. decks, it's like hundreds of pounds. Yeah, because really. everything is like, effectively a rare, isn't it? Even the commons and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not, not quite, but yeah, most of the decks are still using heavy amounts of rares. Tw- Twenty-seven to like forty rares, whatever is average. Uh, like te- uh, the lowest is like zero on some decks for mythics, but some decks need twenty mythics, and the rate of those drops are fucking insane. And there's, and some people will pay that money, obviously. But again, then you're getting to this thing of like. I, I was thinking, this, here's a shower thought for you all the other day. Is it really going to go the way of Modo eventually? They do Arena 2, where they just, they like cordon it off, they spend money on it to keep it going, but it's not the money they should be spending on to keep it vibrant and living and stuff like that. And they just sort of focus on Commander now yeah. for the next five years. And they're like, right! And then esports swings back around because, I don't know, fucking, we start having Counter-Strike at the Olympics or some shit, right? And they're like, we want some of that pie! So then they're like, Arena 2, Electric Boogaloo! And you're like, it's just the same shit over and over, right? And eventually, at that point, Moda gets fucking really left, like ignored and dies, right? Yeah, but, but maybe that's a bit doom and gloom and hit, like, but yeah, baseless conjecture. A little, a little bit. And I think a lot of it comes from this idea that, like, you know, like you said, magic is changing, and that is neither a good or bad thing. It's just a fact, you know. And what we would all like is the magic that we've always liked to play is the thing that drives money and gets support and all the rest of it, right? Because we're all sitting at this from our perspective being like, all the things that we like are now all changing and that's what we don't like, you know, rather than looking at it being like, well, is this I, I, But I love you know? Commander. I do love Commander, so it's not, it doesn't bug me that that might be the future of Magic. I don't sit here as a content creator and be like, oh, that's a shame. It's the word, wow, well, actually, I could, I could talk about Commander and Commander cards for the rest of the time, probably. But, and also, I'm also realistic that Legacy, as much as I love it, it's not a thing that shifts tons of money for wizards or sells loads of packs and stuff. I do think it's more monetizable than they claim. Again, it's that thing. I think they just they constantly fucking it's a lot of um, sleight of hand. Oh no, it's just not profitable. It's just not profitable. We can't make money from it. Oh, meanwhile there's like Eternal Masters coming out. Well, who the fuck's that for then? It's for Commander players, Eternal players. What the fuck are you talking about, wizards? Like s- secret layers of like legacy staples of alternate art. Who's the, who's the Mother of Runes one for then? Fucking not Commander players, is it? It's just, oh, it's just fucking nonsense. It's just such a fu- and people drink that Kool Aid. I don't know if that's the correct term, but they fucking they they believe the lies. They really do. People really buy into this fucking false narrative that was put out that X can't be profitable or or sh- shuffling in standard is bad as they print cards that like like the fucking ultimatums that look. For- There's an ultimatum at Mythic that searches for your deck for three cards. Oh, sh- shuffling's bad. Shuffling- Fable Passage as well in the same deck. Shuffling's bad. Like, fuck off. They're lying to you. They're lying to you because Fetchland's being worth money is part of the collectible plan. That's their future plan. 
because many magic cards collectible as possible. Oh, rare. Sorry. Yeah. So actually, well, maybe that's a good thing. That it's a rare, not a mythic smooch here. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, it feels like a mythic effect, but on the upside of its rare, it means it's it's not going to be too expensive and shit. Sorry, I don't think that was very doom and gloom, just me talking about some things I've been going through my head recently. Yeah, that's fair. Um, what's about if players online only, command fest and feeds in person, EDH play, and they'll rely on CFB and other retailers to drive tunnel formats. Um, yeah, that, that, that's, I mean, that's, that's kind of what we were getting to in the end. Anyway, in the end, in the pre-COVID world, what it'll look like at, after this pandemic, which we're not through yet, obviously. Oh, yeah, I think this is the other thing. Like, you know, we talk about, like, all these changes happening and they're constantly shifting focus. Like, you've got to think that the pandemic has had a huge impact on that and what they can do. What yeah. they've put yeah. on hold. What it's, it's, it's a massive wake-up call for the fucking... So, so there's going to be loads of people at Wizards of the Coast who love the Hall of Fame, who love organised play, who love the idea of competitive magic, because... A lot of the wizard stuff are ex pros or people who want to grind a train or or they just love the game in that way. So they're always gonna try and keep this stuff alive. This is why I'm always like we can't just say fuck what's here and walk off. Like that's just not a real sort of like way to engage with this. Yeah, but there are that people said Oh like, engage, right? Yeah, that's fucking flying. There's gonna be people higher up, especially with like on the Hasbro side of things who are not involved in the creation of the game in any way, shape or form, but they are involved in are we making money and what are the budget sort of stuff. Who are um, looking at the pandemic like so we couldn't play magic in stores or at events we made record profits fuck it organized play is not the draw that it once was right like it's all it's just an obvious thing to notice but yeah maybe maybe there'll be gps i hope there will be i hope there will be me too um also don't take this me saying me saying this chat is not me saying that i've heard that cfb aren't putting them back on um, I just don't know. I'm not privy to any special information. The fact they started the Forbidden, Plan uh, Forbidden Planet, it's like a whole different company. They started the Flesh and Blood events. Screams to me that they're super willing to do magic events again. I guess it's probably... And again, this is not with any information from my sponsor. This is just me, like, you know, thinking from the look outside looking in. It's probably being held up by not them, necessarily. It's, it's like, what can Wizards do, and, you know, globally and, and, and with the pandemic and stuff. I'm, I'm very scared that uh, England's going to get worse as we come fully out of lockdown on the 19th. Um, and that's then going to fuck my plans to go to some Warhammer tournaments because we'll be in full lockdown again. Yeah, probably. Got my first Warhammer tournament in August and November, though. That's exciting. I know, I've got a lot of painting to do because I need to have the army painted for the event. What are you taking? Sisters of Battle to the first one. Fuck knows what in November, though. Orcs. Like, <laughs> it might be. The new Orc Codex is apparently pretty good. Um, but they've got to build and paint the right orc and learn and figure out my list and stuff. Because there's that as well, right? Like, um, yeah. Um, right, chat, we're going to raid somebody and disappear. Um, if you're looking for more content, there will be a couple of videos this week. A little bit light on the ground because I've got, uh, I'm seeing a friend at the end of the week and stuff like that. Um, but there will be content this week. Uh, there will probably be some streams for some 40k later in the week as well because I'm playing my league matches on my Discord and for the Warp Wanderers. That'll probably be Wednesday evening and Sunday for that. And there will also be on Saturday, exact times will be off my Twitter, my Instagrams, and Facebooks. But on Saturday, I will be live streaming Paper, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, pre release con um, games from the pre release event. So I'm picking up my cards for everything tomorrow, build a deck, and so on, so on. Right then, right then, right then, right then, right then. Who is online? Who do you want to slay across a raid to? Hmm. Let's go ahead and raid Lady Lavinius. There we go. Right, chat. I'll see you all soon. There'll be videos, like I said. Also, if you're on the Discord, I'll be knocking about a Discord for the next uh, two, three hours, playing some League and hanging out and shit. In the clown car, kids. Come on, can we get 100 in the clown car? Come on, come on. Easy peasy. Let's go, let's go, no, let's go. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't. The cowards. Damn it. Come on. People watching on mobile. And cowards. Those are the two excuses. <laughs> right, see you, see you later, chat. It's tough for now. Bye.